peace I got four of a kind on everything I gotta live like a king <laughs> Hey, catch this rhythm You feel that? That's called playerism I'm on the scene, a player clean, poker face, four queens, I got four of a kind on everything. Diggas, living elite, I don't feel complete without kicking at my feet in a Rolls Royce every week. Maybe this is deep, listen close when I speak, I need to at least, cause I'm too much, got two nuts and give zero fucks. I've been player too long for you to tell me having two women is too wrong, the way I get my groove on. If I can't have two, then I gotta move on, even my car is too toned. So when I roam, I gotta bring two home. Quit banging my line, ho. Quit banging my oh, line, ho. Hey. Yeah. See, see me act, act like, like you don't need See me act like you don't even know me, ho. Understand what we're doing here. Like William, for example, was at the last conference. Brandon Come on, baby, get a clue. How you do what you do? How do you fall in love with me? But I'm not in love with you. We're banging my Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Yeah, I'm culture. Shit. <laughs> oh, we back cracking. You did. It's the big homie. The one and only, Stephen A. P.M. Fax Kellerman, your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. The idol of James Bond? Yes, sir. Devon. Mark Burt. Devon Burton. <clears throat> the saints and the sinner. Giving, giving you lessons from a P.M. Oh, we got a couple of flavors in here tonight, ladies and saints. We will allow them to give their introductions, and then we will save the best for last. What do we have here? Tell us. Look at you looking at me all sweet and innocent. I love how they be pretending. Anyways, um, <laughs> tell us your name and where you stay. You stay in Vegas, right? That's what's up. What you do for a living, and then we'll pass it on. Okay. My name is Carissa. Am I supposed to look at the camera or you? Um, you can look at Daddy. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, my name is Carissa. Okay. I do live here. I live at Nevada State College. That's okay. where I'm studying right now. Wow, she getting too specific. And he's gonna be pulling up on you, girl. You need to be safe in these streets, um, <laughs> these YouTube streets. And I work at a yoga studio. Really? Yes. You be doing yoga. Yes. I like okay. that. You flexible. I am. Do I need to be flexible? To do yoga? No. To anyways, um, that's what's up. Um, mm -hmm. so you do yoga. I like that. You're from Vegas. Um, how many tattoos you got? I have just one. It's this really? one that you're looking at. Yeah. What is that? It's my zodiac sign. And I'm too dumb to know what that means. Can I say what is that? Yeah, it looked like oh, that's a um uh infinity symbol. You're um an affinity sign. <laughs> <laughs> No, what is that's that? That's a Pisces. Though? No, that's damn. damn. What? Damn. No. What? I thought it was a two fish. Okay. Wait. Do you wait? Hold on. What is it? No, I thought the same. Thing. Okay. Is what is it? Aquarius. No. no. Okay. It's so. a Cancer. Oh my oh, God. So you got oh, Cancer. Yes, damn. Yes, <laughs> I'm so sorry for no. you. Cool. You. You're sorry that I'm a Cancer. I'm sorry. You, you got none. All right. Wow. Continue. So, all right. Cool. So, um, you do yoga. That's what's up. I like that. Um. Do you tr like if I wanted to get like a yoga class, could I sign up with you? Um, so right now I'm in training. It doesn't, um, I don't become an instructor until after August. Okay. So you can come train with me. For sure. I'm trying to slide and I'm trying to train you. Okay. Carrying on. Uh, what's your name? Where are you from? Or what do you do? I don't know if I should be looking at you because I got a zaddy at home already. Oh, do you? <laughs> now, what okay. exactly is a zaddy? You know, Big Daddy, the man holding it down. Interesting. Does that mean he's the he's tricking or is he pimping? Okay, a little bit of both because he loved me, right? Oh dang, you can't right? do both. Dang, both you can't. That's oh what it no, is when you want a good relationship. Oh, we gonna see about that. Okay, <laughs> but um, my name's Mariah, aka okay. Raya, and I'm from Cali. Oh, where but I live here now. So. You from the whole state? From the Bay Area. Oh, you from the Yay area? Oh, Kick your. Oh, East Side. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> You've been out there on San Pablo working? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Carrying on. Oh, yeah. What do you do out here? 
Oh, so I have a business, a, mm-hmm. a beauty business, Strokes of Honey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I do bottle service out here. So I work with different nightclubs all week long. Okay. And you know what? It's uh, cosmetics for women. So I know some of the lady saints are in attendance. We do have the link below to check her out. And mm-hmm. we also have everyone's IG below. And I'm for sure sliding some DMs, you dig. So act like you see me when you see me. Oh Hello there. Hello. Huh. Hi. See, you about to bring the Harry Potter pimp in out. The Harry, is that because <laughs> my glasses <laughs> You turn this man to yeah. a magician. You're about to bring it out. Damn. Um, talk to us. What's your name? What do you do? My name is Chloe. Mm-hmm. I live in Las Vegas. I moved here like maybe three or four years ago from Northern California. Okay. And I'm a model. I also work in the cannabis industry wow. out here, which is a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. So you're a real stoner because when you said Northern California, you didn't say the Bay Area. So you like a by Chico and like way up there. I'm where by they... like Vacaville. Oh no! Isn't there a prison in, in out that? Yeah, way? there is wow. actually. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yikes. Okay. Yeah, you, literally within like walking distance of a school. Yeah. In a park and in like a whole neighborhood. Her dad owns a meth lab. I'm betting my life. Okay. That's not far <laughs> from it. <laughs> and you actually seem to be not terribly pale, so you might have a little. Um, what ethnicity are you? Um, I'm like Mexican, Native American. Okay, dang. Yeah. Well, she she about to bring the, the mariachi pimp in out. You dig? <laughs> oh man, you know Mexican women love me. Actually, you haven't watched the, really, really. Oh, do. I don't, I don't, I don't know if that's true. Because yeah. I mean, I'm Mexican well, and I'm a gonna, woman. We are gonna see how real you are if you was a real deal Mexican. She's so false, yeah. Yeah. She yeah. said, I don't well, know about that. No, 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 no. He's I'm been pulling woman. jokes <laughs> the entire time. Come on. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> So you said you're Mexican and Native American? Yeah, Portuguese too. Uh, and P- Portuguese too. Yes, sir. That's a lot of shit. Okay, carrying on. Um, talk to us, boss man. <sighs> Every time you see him, man, he got a new uniform. Huh. Your boys ain't never seen me like a unicorn. Mm. Stop playing. Every time I'm on stage, I perform. It's the hip hop illusionist. You know what the conclusion the is. is. Get a magic the swag has never had. Your boy Jabrizi. Yitty. What up? So uh, let us hit these super chats, and then we're going to go ahead and um, answer all the questions that the chat is going to send in. And I could tell we, we got a little bit of smoke on this panel. I can already tell. So send in your thoughts, questions, comments. Mm-hmm. I also have a feeling that we got some undercover freaks. I'm just throwing that out there. You dig? I'm just throwing it out there. Anyways, Dante writes, peace to the saints. Tuition. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Oh, yes. When they say peace, peace to the saints, saints, you say peace to the saints. Mm-hmm. Or if I say baller alert, then you say baller, baller alert. alert. Caleb writes, a girl I wanted to talk to late on the first date. Man, that's early. And I had planned it all out. Mm. I deleted her number. Should I have tried again? For me, I say, one strike, you're out of here. What do you think? Oh, that's a tough one. She said, ooh. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, there's reasons. Like, were you being too clingy? If you're being too clingy, like, that's an automatic turnoff. We haven't even right. had a face to face sit down. So what's the vibe? Like Okay. So is should he have so you're saying he should have deleted her number then because she flaked for a reason. Correct. Okay. Word life. What do you think? Um, I mean, honestly, I can't really hate on the the one strike you're out thing. I'm I not gonna lie, I've been there. Been there, the one strike you're out. Yeah. Oh, before. you got flaked on. No. Okay. I I mean <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's <laughs> happened. Damn. But no, like Pass to somebody else. Forgot have what have you ever been flaked on? Um, I think so. I, I mean, think so. I think God so. Damn, I'm I think so. Would you weren't the there? Is that? Well, I mean, they give like she work at a dispensary, bro. <laughs> She's been smoking on the job. God damn, you forgot already. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, like they give like little excuses, you know. Mm-hmm. And sometimes they'll be like, "Oh, I completely forgot about this. Let's plan and plan and plan, and it never actually happens." Nice. You know. So I'm like, I, I don't know. Nice. I'd much rather them just say like, yo, shawty, I'm not feeling it. And then cut it off. I can dig it. What about you? Um, you you think he should have once struck her out or she might have had a, a real reason that she didn't show for that first date? I feel like she could have had a good reason, but I think he should keep trying because I have flaked a lot of times. Wow. But it's not. You're like, irresponsible as hell. <laughs> Go ahead. I just, <laughs> I just have important things to do. Why don't I believe that? What you got to do? I, I'm in I'm in school. Uh-huh. I work. What you Come studying in school? Nursing. Oh, that's a good degree. Yeah. Shout out. All right. So, so you're studying nursing and you work and what's your work? 
The yoga studio, love. Oh, okay. No, you said you was training. I didn't know if you was getting paid. She said training, right? Yeah. You I said I, you, you said, get paid to said train. You're an instructor yet, right? Okay. Yeah. So I do both. So I'm training and I work. There. Can oh. I can I ask an off color question? The guys who are in there doing yoga are these like normal heterosexual guys, or are these like different kind of guys? Like nine out of nine, what like what is it? It's honestly all. It's of all the above. of all the above. Yeah. Okay, for sure. Cool. Well, I'll be in there next. Um, carrying on. Uh, C Rax writes, <laughs> "Sensei, promoting my book right now. We'll watch later. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Let's go. Oh, and guess what? Marcos Hurtado writes, "Peace to the saints." To the same. Oh, they're a little bit saints. slow on this panel. Good lord, she been. Did you take everybody with you to the dispensary? Yeah. <laughs> they oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're a little slow mo. Oh, we yeah, need we some a little pep on this before one. this. Man, y'all need to use cocaine instead of weed before this show. Damn. Damn. <laughs> right, props to Marquette and Jabrizi for always delivering world class game. Oh, we gonna get into it today. It thank is. you, thank you. Yes, indeed. Shout out to my boy Marcos. Yes. Ivan writes, shout out to the real ones that stay spitting game and shooting shots like Kobe. I feel it, man. Nice. Carrying on. Top Shelf writes, peace to the saints. Pimping and simping can't coexist in the same body. It's one or the other. I think he's calling you out. Damn. Uh, but wait, did you say simping? No, I said, said tricking. And, and tricking. that's worse. You're that's right. worse. Good. Tricking is worse. Right. But like, if it's your significant other, because it's the same Like, how thing, significant like... is this other? Oh, like, like we real tight. Like, we're serious. Yeah, like, we're, I'm trying to get married. How many days? Guy, like, you Are you trying to get to married? Be, yeah. You what tripping. you talking about? No, no, like, how, how many days y'all been together? How many days? Going on two years. <laughs> I thought he had to get up. I thought he had to get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. he's, he's my middle school sweetheart oh really yeah so like yeah this is the whole story behind it oh, i got a middle school so story cute. too yeah but um you, you i feel like if you're in a relationship like uh -huh. i'm mm -hmm. a trick on my man what like whatever you want you got yeah, it like as long as you're loyal and you treat me right like, loyal like what do you mean like only sleeping with you like loyal in all aspects it's not okay. just about sleeping like it's even about the confinement it's about the conversation okay, can i so talk say, to you and you keep that between us like it's in our yes. house so you know what i mean like Preach. it just is deeper than that so your name is mariah right correct cool so say he came to you and he said mariah um last night uh i i was with this big booty bitch and i had to i just wore it out one time but i'm not gonna do it again because i love you and i want to get married to you um are you gonna forgive him um i don't have any hate in my heart first okay. of all so That's let's start up. there so like okay. we were to part ways like hey it's for the best right yeah. but That's number... basically i'm about to break up with you yeah i mean like damn just oh. tell me what it is <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. See, the, the thing was like we had an understanding mm -hmm. it's like if, if you're not happy with the situation just well i didn't say i wasn't separate. happy i just said she was thicker than a snicker but she then... was thicker than a dry bowl of oatmeal with no milk in it but, like, but so let me go tell to you her some, but uh -huh. let me tell you something tell me something i'm listening to you that all comes down to the man that you are because if you mm -hmm. don't have self-control then mm -hmm. what does that say about you See, we're always going to make it about the self-control. Like, it is about come on, stop it. it. Wait, How don't many big booty bitches out here? And I'm just trying to like slay with this one right here just one right. good time. Like, come on, well, stop it. Why can't you have self-control enough to say, okay, he had five minutes of pleasure with this female. How does this affect his time with me? Doesn't affect it at all. How does this affect the way he treats me? Doesn't it does, affect it at all. because if you want an open relationship, you Nobody asked for an open beginning. relationship. Nobody asked for that. Well, all I you're said talking about an open was relationship. I just smashed this super thick freak. And you're trying to get mm -hmm. off scotch free, so that's an open relationship. Yeah, no, like, why y'all making well, up stuff? Oh, let me, this no, is a big me, scenario, no, first Let me of tell all. you what an open Didn't relationship is. An uh, open relationship means I'm going to do what I'm going to do, and you're going to do what you're going to do. But we're going to be together. I think women just get, I think they get mad, because if they get smashed so much, like, they... No, nope. you're gonna start to smell the effects. <laughs> <laughs> what? They can't do it like we can. So they're gonna start to, start to smell the effects. So what would you be calling a woman that's smashing a bunch of people, y'all? A oh, dirt she bag, a, she a did, scallywag, she right? So a come, door mat. You ever heard of a you ever watch SpongeBob? Yes. The cum bucket. Oh, <laughs> what what are you guys saying? You know, what what is what is so what, like Let's reverse it. Can now. we do let's it. reverse it oh my, now? Oh, Wait, if do you guys live in reality? Energy. Just real quick before we get into do you live in reality? A hundred percent. Do you live in reality? What kind of question is that? Okay, good. Hold on. Remember you said that. Now check this out. Let's be real about it. You said, What do you call a woman who gets smashed by a bunch of guys? Slut, whore, 
all these things, right? Okay. What do you call a guy who smashes a bunch of women? A player, Hugh Hefner, a pimp. Now, check this out. Whore, slut, hoe. Those are things we look down on, right? Hugh Hefner, player, pimp. Those are things we look up to, right? You ain't never lying. In some cases. Quit lying. In Hold some up. cases. See, I th- who, how come y'all haven't branded y'all own like what? logo, like the Playboy logo? Yeah. What? The whole logo. Yeah. What? We need a whole logo. Make one. Man, we'll have to get this done. I'm the whole logo. Sure we don't see who want to wear it. <laughs> what? But I'm pretty sure they have. No, nah, no, they don't have a whole logo. Nobody, a whole go. Yeah. See what you're see, you don't live in reality. That's why I asked you off rip. So why and I'm gonna tell you why I know you don't live in reality, because we all know that when a woman sleeps around with a bunch of guys, she's ashamed of it. She try to hide it. When a guy sleeps around with a bunch of girls, damn near be advertising it, right? <laughs> Hugh Hefner, he's like, look, I live in a house full of bitches. There's bitches everywhere, and I'm digging them all down. And the niggas be at home like, I want to be like you. That's why he made so much money, because people want to be like that. But no one looks at a hoe like, you know what? I would like to have every guy get a turn like a doorknob. I'd like to be like that girl. So now let me, so I don't know how many times. Wait, real quick, though. Am I wrong, though? No, you are wrong because you oh, know what? Some girls, Damn. Some girls oh. don't care. Some girls don't, some care, don't care, don't care how much they, you know, like yeah, okay. living that life. Sounds, right, because there, there are mentally ill people in the society, but what I'm asking you is this. Now they're mentally ill because oh, the women don't care. Oh, they're extremely mentally ill. Extremely. Why? Because they don't care about having sex, sex and like it you guys sexist. don't too? But, but, like, but like, here, here's what's crazy though. Like what's the crazy? realism of it is, is as a guy, like, if I wanted to slay all y'all, huh. I'd get all y'all pregnant. Right. Get you pregnant, you pregnant, you pregnant, you pregnant. Now, and I can do a face shot. Give her I a can, face shot. Okay, face shot. <laughs> okay. But, like, <laughs> but like, I can do it all in one go, mm-hmm. and it would be the most epic thing in history. Mm-hmm. You could never beat me because I could keep replicating my DNA. Right. And you would have to live and bask in the glory of seeing the player man who slayed you and four of the women and got some pregnant. But you just gonna be broke with a bunch of baby mamas coming after your pocket. Now nah, he gonna go Nick uh, Cannon on it. He what? Nick Cannon in out here. I'm, I'm, um, you what? Nick Cannon out here? <laughs> but real quick, <laughs> <laughs> real quick, we got a baller alert. baller alert. Baller alert. Irving D. Rob writes, tuition, peace to the saints. Anthony Tibbs <laughs> writes, peace to the saints. The drip is crazy on this live in a real way. Yes, sir. Le Jimmy. Lil Jimmy writes, Lil Jim checking in. Peace to the saints. Where'd you get your glasses, pimp? Well, I got these uh, out in Italy, you dig? In Milan. Carrying on. Ahmad, I guess at the Prada store, just in case you were searching. But oh, these actually uh, were sunglasses. I had them knock the lenses out these hoes and put in some prescriptions. You did. Um, Ahmad writes, peace to the saints. Hello, guys. That's a sh- Oh, damn. That's a sh- <laughs> Oh Woo! man, it has begun. <laughs> that's a shiny forehead. All love. My boy, I don't know if that's all love, but I'll read it all the same. <laughs> Solon writes, and by the way, it's five dollars and up. Um, Mariah's being nice, but we, we had to move it up to five dollars and up because last time y'all was roasting, it was for the low. We had to upgrade it. Please. Uh, how does what work? <laughs> question for after oh okay All right, for sure. uh solon writes hey everyone what are your thoughts on women needing to drink to start or get in the mood for sex after a date this is good can this spark some issues and why this is a great great question i really like this question but first why have you never been with a black man I'm sorry. What? <laughs> 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 first of all, what makes you say that? Okay, but first of all, can we just confirm that it is? First of all, I'm true? not going to confirm nor deny this Fair enough. First of all, accusation you you're making. Yeah. And second of all, what makes uh-huh. you say that? You see, I here's the thing. You know, they say the game is to be sold, not told. You dig, but every now and then it gets given away instead of sold. Because I happen to be the four-eyed P, which means I can see twice as deep into a woman's soul. Mm. You understand? Oh, really? So that's why. Yeah, can you? That's why. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you may have went Steph Curry, but you haven't gone Michael Jordan. And I'm, I'm just, you know, why is that? We're just trying to explore What makes here. you say that, though? Because I know that. And, How do you and know my, that? And low-key, by the way, when we were putting the Instagrams in the description earlier, 
And I was like having everyone spell their name. She was like, it's C Chloe. And I'm like, niggas don't know how to spell Chloe. Like, what? That's, Who I didn't know how to spell her name. She, that's everybody though. Hey, today I to just got Chloe. her Instagram. Yeah. And I tried to spell Chloe and I yeah. sat back and I was like, bro, I never spelled this name a right. day in my life. Then same, ain't nobody in the hood named Chloe. Like, why you do me like that? But anyway, so that was how I knew. I was like, okay, you did not go to high school with black guys because you would have already knew not to say that to me talking about uh yeah it's spelled chloe like okay so i was like all right she did not go to high school with black guys tell me i'm lying tell me i'm lying yeah zoom in on that face <laughs> zoom in on that face somebody right, okay, that okay, zoom in okay, on okay, face. okay 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 you're all not right. lying there. good no, he, I, said, I he like... said good yeah all right <laughs> i ain't never told no lies this is all truth on this podcast hallelujah praise the lord jesus um but you have been with black men and you have as well so this I know. You see how I just knew that? And she ain't even got to confirm it. I ain't even got to look at her. I feel it. I sense it. You dig? <laughs> but what about me Okay, go makes up, you say come that? Up, come up in front and just, just come up in front real quick. Don't drip forget cam. to take the head. Yeah, we're going to drip cam oh, you. Drip God. cam. Yeah. Don't forget to take the headphones off. Thank you. Because that would be hella embarrassing. Jeez. Wow, it's so much, yeah. so much different. <laughs> All right, so we're going to bring back a quick drip cam real quick. The legacy. And oh yeah, by the way, Saints, go ahead and send in your super chats and explain why you think, why you can predict she's never been with a black guy. Okay, you probably should. should yeah, step back a yeah, little take bit. It, take yeah, it. yeah there you going. go. Oh, by the way, she she claimed to be six one. Actually, this this step step back here. Step yeah, back she here. Claimed, she claimed to yeah, be six one. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna, huh? She tall, y'all. She tall. <laughs> I'm tall. That's what's up. Yeah, I right. can stand up with it. You dig? Yep. Um. So you said you have one tattoo. I have three. Three. Okay, where they at? I see the I leg one. Here okay. Says something. It says trust no nigga. Okay. No, and then what's up? <laughs> okay. And then I have one on my shoulder. Okay. That's what's up. What does that one say? It's just a flower. Okay. I have two on my shoulder, actually. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah. Send in your super chats and tell me why Marquette's able to predict that she has never been with a black guy. Uh, we're going to check those super chats. I'm in a watching second. this, by the way. Uh -huh. All right. And and you said you're Mexican, Portuguese, and I didn't fuck, mess around and forget, and Native American. That's yeah, deep. Right. Okay. That's a lot of stuff. Wow. Ooh, I feel like you hard to deal with for a man. Because you know men like simple answers. Did you know that? I did know that. Yeah. Can okay. I sit down? Yeah, or? you can sit okay. down now. You can sit down now. I just want everybody to get a good look at you so they can, they so can they pass can make judgment. So they can make fun of me later. So they can pass judgment. Um, now. Pass your judgments. <laughs> <laughs> so send in all your, your super chats and your PayPal's and your cash you explaining want. why you know she's never been with a black guy and why I'm so accurate every time. Why are you so accurate that we have been with black men? Well, first tell me this. Have you been with a black man? I do not want to confirm or deny. Well, let me just tell you how we know, okay? <laughs> it's the soul pole. Uh. When you get touched with the soul pole, uh. we see the soul in you. You uh. finally get lit up. Uh. So I look at her and I'm like, there's no soul yet. Yes. But we're going to fix that. Yes. Yeah. I also have to stop saying the N word on, on this podcast. I, I keep forgetting. <laughs> so I'm going to stop saying it. Uh, if you can join Dude me said ironing board. as well. Oh, why you say that? <laughs> Damn. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Once you bend that over, it's all the same. It's all I I sometimes I like those, okay, just, it's just for the record. Um Solon writes, Hey everyone, what are your thoughts on women needing to drink to start or get in the mood for sex after a date? Can this spark some issues and why? Let's start right over here and with Carissa. Um, so I personally do not drink at all. At all. At all. No alcohol. So. Have you ever drank? I have, okay. but I just, it's not beneficial, I believe. What, what made you give it up? I don't like it. You're, you're a white, right? Yeah. He said you're I a white. I think so. What kind, what in the <laughs> white girl? <laughs> what? In, no. okay. Claire, why are you saying like that, <laughs> man? What in the white girl? You're a white? <laughs> no. You, you know there's even a term called, I was white girl wasted. You heard that, right? Yeah. No, y'all like to drink. So unless you're a Mormon or Jehovah's Witness, or you in some other cult I ain't heard of. What's going on? I'm going to need an explanation of this. Um, I, well, you guys know I do yoga. Obviously. Okay. That's what's um, up. Something that we preach is, you know, your body's a temple. You need to take care of it. And I know, like, drinking here and there is, mm -hmm. you know, social, whatever. But okay. I just feel like I don't need it. I, I'm very outgoing. I'm very talkative. I'm very mm -hmm. happy. Wow. I don't I don't think I need alcohol to spark anything. Wow. Now that's crazy. Y'all preach that. And I be meeting girls that do yoga uh -huh. and I promise to God, 
They be doing <laughs> drugs I can't even pronounce. Huh. So how is this what y'all be preaching? I need, I'm gonna take them hoes yeah, to your class. Drugs that are probably good for you. Like, like Xanny like, and Perks? No, no, no. Like ketamine? Oh. <laughs> like if you smoke weed or... Oh, shrooms. oh, so you use a stone. You just prefer to smoke. I, I don't actually smoke You don't either. smoke? No, oh, that's what's, you no. know what? You might be a decent person. That Thanks. is what. That's what's up. It's shout the, out. Shout out. Give her a round of applause. This is good. This is really good. Oh, my God. Y'all wouldn't found. Wow. Uh, we don't drink either. So th mm -hmm. this is actually like right in line with us. We're, we're still... I still am partially in disbelief. Um the last time you drank and when you said no more what made you just say no more it i don't remember that night you never did like a little bit of crack no love no <laughs> so that, that was a black that that was, you got blacked out that night yeah okay so you used to go too hard okay fair enough this is this once. makes a little it more happened sense. once this makes a little more sense okay for sure um cool so nowadays when you get slayed you don't need to have no none of the elixir that game just got to be right and it's gonna pop off yeah i don't need any of it that's what's up i like that and it's gotta stretch you out <laughs> there we go um how about you what's up why do you think girls like to get slizzard before they get beat down wait is this a this is a, a question. first date after <clears throat> oh, after a date i don't know maybe they mm -hmm. just want to take off the nerves you never know mm -hmm. what how a woman is feeling yeah. like yeah. maybe it might be the first time or maybe you just really like this guy you don't know you just reminded me of something have you ever felt as though a guy thought you were loose like not not morally but loose physically mm. no because i've thought that a few times but i never i never told her and i just I wondered if she knew, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was in there for a minute. Because, you know, sometimes you go out quick. You ever be with a guy and then he didn't, he didn't went out quick? And you're like, oh, that's it. Like, you ever had that situation where? Wait, okay, wait. So I'm confused. Uh -oh. so like my, my question is with you, like, uh -huh. so you felt like she was loose, but she didn't have, how would she know that you felt like that? I was because I was in there so long. You feel me? Like there's some you get in there and you be like, oh, we, oh, I gotta hold on, stay focused, quiet. Think about ugly women. Think about <laughs> ugly women. Stay focused, quiet. Oh, don't look at her. Close your eyes. Don't touch her. Put your hands behind your back. Stay focused. Don't let it go. Hold on, <laughs> hold on. And it just go. And you're like, no, that's embarrassing. Oh. And then you be try. It be it be like going like it's not even strong no more. But you try to leave it in there. And you try to keep pumping like this. Oh my god! <laughs> this is be like hella, like not man. strong. You just try to keep this it. This man wants to go with the, the limp arm. Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's when it be fire. And then you just got to like shorty, that is fire. Just give your boy two minutes. Let me go to the bathroom. Give me two minutes. I'm gonna be back in it like minute. Oh, uh, so it's fire. But then other times you'd be like, it's been like four hours. Like God damn. Like when is what is the where are the walls at? Where are the well, now you've experienced something that women have to deal with every time they have sex with a man, waiting four hours to, to get something. Oh, if you wait four hours, it ain't going to come. Oh, with that's me. what I'm talking no, about, though. Come. Like women... They be in there for four hours? Huh? No, she's no, saying like, like, like get it's... Nut. Yeah. That's a that funny was the ass part scenario. Of the okay. So there's so much going on. So one, I don't even be tripping if women don't get their nut. Just side note. I don't even... At, in fact, it turns me off. Women who want nuts turn me off. Sorry. What? I'm sorry. It turns wow. you off. It turns that turns me, me, off. me off. Damn. I recently oh. had a chick tell me this, and I was like, no, nah, I can't mess with you no more. I was like, no more. She said, um, and mind you, I beat the brakes off this girl, too. Um, she was one or two I beat off, beat the brakes off of in a three-hour period. But anyways, um, so this chick. So we I, got Dirty Dick Dan over here. No, nah, no, nah, I strapped up both times. <laughs> I strapped up both times. So anyways, I beat the brakes off this girl, right? And then after that, she was like, like trying to like pillow talk me. And in my head, I'm like, Shorty, get dressed. Like, what are you talking about right now? Like, <laughs> get dressed. Like, stop talking, please. Anyways, um, so then Shorty's like, oh, you know, I like I like foreplay too. She's like, I'm more external than internal. She was like, which is to say, like, she likes manual stimulation, right? Like, that's what gets her off. And in my head, I'm like, I don't care. Like, you ain't gonna tell that shit to your boyfriend. Wait, like, <laughs> tell that to somebody who cares. Like, like oh shit. <laughs> Like, what do you think I'm over here for? I'm not here trying to like please you. Like, what are you doing out here? And I was like, just the fact that she's so focused on catching a nut, I was like, to me, that separates That's what you're focused on them. Hella focused on it. So then why is it so wrong for a woman it. to be focused on it? Is it because it's harder? No, it's because I don't care. 
Oh, so it's and, harder. No, nah, no. Nah, here's the thing, though. It wasn't meant to be. So check this out. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Because if you were meant to be catching a nut, then it'd be as easy as it is for me to catch a nut, which is to say the male no, was designed to propagate species. You dig? Oh, so cool. if I wanted to, I could probably, I'd get all of y'all done. And like, I love her face. I wish we had another <laughs> camera. <laughs> another camera. Saints, you should see Mariah's face in Mar the background. Mariah's a meme. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I put her, her IG in the description if y'all want to slide. Oh. Um, but anyways, if I wanted to get all y'all done in 30 minutes, I could do that. And according to science, survival of the fittest says like, I'm the fittest. That's the goal for a male to spread DNA. In the case of the female, that's not your goal and function. So like the idea of you getting off actually has no real purpose. Like there's science isn't even certain that the female orgasm is a real thing. The male orgasm is evidenced by semen coming out. And that's a very standard uh, biological process across all human males. Wow. Whereas you got some females like, I'm a squirter, I'm a squirter. <laughs> and you got some that be dry, some cream, some, you know, whatever. Are Sounds you like female? you're just not Here's consistent. Some reality. Okay, fair enough. Thank I like how you told me that though. <laughs> she low key, I like that. She said, she I don't key. want you to know that information. I feel like everything I ask her to answer is yes. <laughs> like everything I ask her to answer is yes. I want to stop asking you questions though. Um, but go ahead, angry feminist, talk to me. On what? Talk to me. What topic do you want to hear? Tell me. Tell me. Did that answer anger. the question? Um, what are my thoughts on women needing to drink to start an after a date? I mean, I don't know. It depends on how long you've been talking to the person, you know? Uh -huh. Like if you don't. Have, have you ever needed to get slizzer before getting, or not need it, but prefer I mean, to. I find it's easier for me to get off if I do, Damn. if that makes sense. Why okay. is that? Because you're just more relaxed? Yeah. I okay. think I'm like more relaxed now. I don't really care too Could much. Could you about ever the other stay person. with a guy who couldn't get you off? No. No. That's a good point. And that's exactly why I avoid them. Because when I think about it like this, like the love is not central. You feel me? Mm. And in terms of physicality, like, for example, I'm a superior athlete to most guys by far. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to sex, if I actually wanted to have good sex, oh, I could get it done. No problem. But there's other guys who are superior athletes to me. Mm -hmm. Right. Especially like ghetto niggas. Right? Like these these dudes, they have nothing else to do but to give out good pipe. You heard me? That's I got to work. You're, I ain't got time. I need my energy. They ain't got nothing to do but give out good pipe. Tyrone, Pookie them, they giving out great pipe. Thanks. So the point is, if your relationship, if the sex is so central, it's not then, central though. But that's you just not, said you couldn't be with a man who can't. But that doesn't give mean that makes it central. That's just one of the things. You said it's a deal breaker. Right, it's not a deal breaker. Top five, top five, top five, top five. Top five deal she breaker. Deal breaker. <laughs> that's Damn. Central. Name your top like like we don't like name like top five rappers. Top five things that's this is deal breakers. Go ahead. Um, respect. That's got really quiet. Damn. And Dick. Okay. okay. Can we continue? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, nah, I was trying. Oh, I, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. She said respect and respect. That's because it just was one. hella quiet. I was expecting yeah. like some sort of response, but respect. Mm -hmm. They got to make me laugh. I don't know. There has to be like a connection. Like I'm uh -huh. looking for like my bestie, I'm, like my best friend. I'm not looking for like. It's all bad. Why? It's why is that bad? bad? I want to be, be able to laugh and have fun I with be, my partner. I don't get why women think I want to be their best friend. This is a major like, issue. Like, here go the crazy thing. Yeah. Look, you, you ever like just chill with, y'all know y'all do this probably with y'all. Are you guys in relationships? Probably. No. First of yeah. all, there this is the Same go. City Podcast. Yeah. What happens in Vegas stays <laughs> no, on. Same City, City podcast. podcast. Don't end, the, don't end this. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like, look, you, you chill with a chick and then like, here she come, you know, asking you a trillion questions when you walk through the door. Uh, where you been? Uh -huh. What you doing? Blah blah. blah. Well, that's uh, if she, wanna... she got her nut off, she wouldn't be nagging her. She now here, now wait, wait, check this, this out. Free, free check this girl, out. Man, I'm just check this out. Watch this, watch I'm this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And then they think I want to be their best friend. Mm. I'm trying to be best friends with Benjamin Franklin. Uh -huh. You over here trying to get your nut off because it's been four days and a homeboy been working, uh -huh. and I ain't got time like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like you know. You know you got with a rich nigga. Stop playing. Again. I mean, a rich brother, brother. And you know what? Then 
like that's the beautiful thing that's why everybody else is different we all yeah. have different soulmates we all have different connections you know the type of person that i am we all have different orgasms with the type you're of person you are you. nah i don't see i think <laughs> i can't i think you don't think that she's gonna find a soulmate no you don't care that if women honestly i don't care if i saying... find a soulmate my soulmates myself i think women I whoa, like whoa 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 <laughs> wait hold on like hold on one second she just said my soulmate is myself that's some 2022 stuff, right? That's there. a vibrator. Some sad girl shit. Dang, <laughs> dang. You Paul said my, Anderson. My, my soulmate is myself. I mean, I gotta be my my like, I don't know. I gotta be my best friend. Damn. I gotta gotta stick out for me because who else is going to if I don't? Dang. I think you, you women. Live in a, she live in a dark world. I think. No, I don't. She live in a dark world. I Hold live up. in a great. World. Um, I think women okay. are just mad. Cause men can get off a nut so damn easy. They wish they could, get and they off can't like this. ever really figure it out. I think yeah. it's a new process for them every time. You know, there's a scientific term for it. Freud called it penis envy. Really? Mm -hmm. They they diagnose this. Harvey writes: Can the host do a drip cam? Saints, you got to. The girls can stay seated. <laughs> oh damn! Pop it off. Real, ah pop damn it off. damn! All right, let me right, pop it off real quick. No. I got you. You know, all right, mm. so yeah, you know, your boy, your boy got on the on the drip. You know okay, let me go ahead and hit the Dion with the red today. Oh, wait, the sock game, sock game. Uh, look at that, look at uh, that. Uh, 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 who else you see with red socks like yeah. that? Go ahead, Mark. Wait, yeah. hit him, man. Hit him real quick, brother. The, don't nobody wear white socks. They don't. don't nobody wait, actually. Don't cover they don't. socks. They don't. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Damn. Oh, man. Oh, that's nice. That's uh, nice. I that I just hurt my eyes. Put that away, man. We got the silk on the pocket. Oh, we don't do belt loops because that's not civilized, right? Those are handmade. No belt loops. You know, I put I've got the button on there just in case they try to pickpocket me when I'm in the fair world. Okay, okay. I feel you. Ha! Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you. I appreciate you saying we That's actually I'm not even wearing any of my own drip today, so shame on me. Mm. You know, shame on me. Y'all be asking way. at the wrong time, yeah. man. Yeah, shame on me. Um, you had oh, I'm gonna come right back to you. Osmosis writes, peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Been on the grind, so I'm catching up on all the lives. Much love to the assassin. Oh, indeed. Chloe, did you try to match with me or something? What? Dude, we are not matching the, at all. The shirt? Oh, this is my shirt. I, oh my yeah, god! I have to sign off. So freaking annoying. I have to sign off on that one. Kenneth writes, "What are your thoughts about women doing bread crumbing? Sometimes some girls message me after months of no contact and then disappear again. Peace to the saints. Wow. Oh. I'm not really strange. sure I know what bread. I know what that is. Shit is. Yeah, it sounds like some freaky shit though. I was no. kind of concerned. <laughs> yeah, he, said, he said it actually in there. He said basically a woman popping in and out, messaging you, but not responding back. She playing games. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? Um. Maybe she just wanted attention yeah. or something. Some of that free attention, huh? I feel yeah. you on that one. Yeah. Honestly, brethren, you should be way too busy and have way too many things to do in pursuit of your goals and fortunate, or hopefully you're fortunate enough to have enough women to where this chick is just going to fade away. You're not going to have time because you're going to be you know, more caught up with the new women. She sounds like a fall down broad, though, in my opinion. Would you agree? It's just, I agree. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've been on the other hand of that. You should just we should leave the situation, bro. Yeah. She's using you for sure. In a real way. Mm. Carrying on. Caleb <clears throat> writes, she not caked enough. You're not wrong. I oh. think he was talking about what she told. I don't know. I think he was talking about Look, me. you know what? It's okay. Nah, because the skinny ones be having that fire though. And though they might not have the fat wagon, they might have the fat cat. You Jesus and hey. Christ. <laughs> they don't know about them tall girls. Jesus and Christ. They special. They a special breed. My <laughs> Rashad Lord. Rashad writes, Peace to the Saints. Could you elaborate on the importance of purse first? As last. Can this term translate into the square world of dating and relationships? Very good question. Do you all know what he's referring to? No. I, yeah, that's like getting your money first before you get your your physical things, you know, yeah. the sex. What do you think of that? Um, I agree with that. If somebody's not hitting every single mark for like, I mean, like if they're not at least striving to be the thing that would be like complementary to my personality and all mm -hmm. of that, then yeah. I wouldn't pursue it. I'm pursuing the bag first. I get it. I get what he's saying. No, you don't. 
<laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> what does that mean? Purse first, ass last. Dang. What do you know? What no, does it mean? Because we say, what he's saying is this basically. He's saying, okay, uh, when engaging a woman, first she should be making an offering, something that's of monetary value, before we before we pursue having sex with her. Oh, that's what he's saying. No. So, so the woman yeah. should be making the offer to you guys first. Mm, yeah, offer like a, some value. a financial offer, like taking them out to yeah. dinner or something like that. I mean, in the swear world, it could be something that basic. Um, in other worlds, it could be, you know, you laying some actual greenbacks on the big homie. You dig to let me know it's really real. But I think that. At but then least that's in, like stepping into it with the wrong energy, I feel. No, Is no, it really? I really, I really want to know if you can help me become wealthier. That's like my number one qualification, actually, because here's the thing. In terms of being attractive, you get zero points for that because like 99.9% .9 of the chicks who come my way are attractive. They all have vaginas, so you're getting zero points for that. In terms of being intelligent, it's like, ah, you're also not getting a ton of points for that one either because I'm surrounded by intelligent people, right? Because being a high earner is going to put you in that space. So what I really want to know from you, because I know you can spend money, right? Like every chick's like, oh, Mark White, you just got back from Europe. I saw you in the helicopter in Monaco. Let's go on a trip. Every chick want to do that, right? But what I want to know is, can you pay for that trip? Mm. You feel me? Like, can you help me make money so when we go on the trip, it's covered? So let me let me ask you this then. Is money like a deal breaker for you? If a, No, it's not money. It's the ability to help me make money, which means contribution, work ethic, okay. being able to prioritize okay. me. So yeah. what if a person has literally all of those things, but mm -hmm. they don't have the financial backing? No, they, she don't need the money. She, she needs don't to need be the able money. No, nah, she needs to be able to get in position and help me grow the, the bag for the both of us. You did. Because <gasps> Because when we come together, we're family, what? right? What? Yeah. And I don't expect women to be money focused because I don't believe that's truly in the hearts of any woman to be money focused. Women are love focused. They Out of their mouth nowadays, they might say they're money focused, but they're really love focused. And I know it for an actual fact because you, if you became wealthy and you fell in love with me and I wanted to break you for every penny, I could break you for every last penny. What makes you say that? Because I know it and Is I've done it. Carrying there? on. Hit me. Pronounce that name for me, Miss Potter. <laughs> um, Cal Ken, maybe. Very nice, right? Oh, baller alert! Baller, baller alert. alert! Peace to the Saints, ladies. Men obviously don't only want one woman, and women clearly want one man. Why do women not want to coexist and share their workload with close friends? It's, I like that. This man is a genius. There are some women like that, mm -hmm. though. Don't they have like sister wives? Word. Like, the whole nine. It's Word just to all big personal bird. preference. But he's saying pretty. Would you let me? Let's see if you're in reality again. Reality check. Say I got a hundred men, and I said, "Hello, gentlemen." Uh, if your woman would allow you, would you like to be with multiple women at once? What percentage do you think would say, Marquette, absolutely, I'd like to be with multiple women? Probably 98%. 98%. Cool. Beautiful. So that would you would say that's men's nature, right? Like their actual like nature. Like in the back of their head, if, if people would allow it, probably. Right. Exactly. Okay, cool. So that's their nature. That's what they actually are. Why would you try to have man do something unnatural against what he really is? Right, because well, first of all, I don't want anybody to do what they don't want to do. Like, okay. do you boo so you by the, any you, means? You got the two percent man, then, huh? Right, like I want the two percent. Like, do you by any means? Wow. But however, but you got to be that one percent to so wait, get that two percent. Like, you got to be the top one of women and elite. So you're to the have top. One, you're the top one percent of women. I feel like I fit in that category. Yes, she confident out here. But the reason <laughs> being, I need to know. I need to know. Wait, can, the, hold on. The reason can being, we do a drip cam on her real quick? Because I just want to start from the the tootie to the Rudy. The Rudy <laughs> to, the tootie to the Ruda. The to the how how does it go? Uh, who from the south? But you want to know why it's one? Why there's one percent? You know, there's this guy who used to do this uh, YouTube channel. The okay. old guy who used to be cussing out women and stuff and saying. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He recently yeah. passed away. I know he was. He, yeah, he but, was like, supposed he was, to tap in. He was talking in. about what makes a person elite on on the show, uh, right? And what happened to the camera? Camera go. Oh, you know what? Go, go ahead. The camera too. It's not showing. It's not showing. It's black. Oh, you hit face the black. Oh, okay. Wait, this is no, no, no. Yeah, go use the restroom real quick. Yeah. Don't hit that TV that's face the black. Yeah. Oh, um, is this the drip cam? She, she had a <laughs> she had a restroom break. Okay. Yeah, it's to the right, to the right. Um, 
Okay, so we're gonna bring it to you, Miss Soft Spoken Goody Two Shoes over here. Oh Lord, I feel like one day I'll piss her off. She just all that come out. She loud, cursing, yelling, throwing stuff. But right now you're soft spoken and sweet. That's so nice. Oh my God. Okay, so um. Are, are you cool with the guy having more than one woman? If he's honest, if at the beginning he says, Carissa, look, um, I got you and I got Chloe and we're just going to keep it consistent between the two of us. We're going to be open, honest and clean about everything. And I'm pursuing a long term for life relationship with the both of you. Can we rock like that? He's hooking up with the both of us. Uh, what do you mean by hooking up? Like we're having sex. Yes, you're getting beat down hard and good. I... Strong and long don't want him to be with another person then if we're talking i feel like if you want to have sex with someone else by all means mm -hmm. go have fun have sex but yeah. i don't want to be having sex with you when you're having sex with another girl not when you ain't got to be there in the same room at no, the same like, time it's same whether like we're talking we're together you do you but if uh -huh. we're like pursuing things okay I so don't. let me rewind it back for you then love uh, do you agree with her categorization that 98% of men would want to have multiple women if they could mm -mm. on a sexual basis? What percentage? I I don't know like an exact percentage, but a young men, like what, what are the age is that we're talking about? Like you right, guys? what's your age? What's your age? I'm 20. You're 20. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what age range of guys do you date? Oh, all of the above. Like, 20, 20, 20 <laughs> and above. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. All the way up to like 50? Yeah. That's what's up. Go ahead, if, girl. If Do you what you do, happy, baby. If you make me smile, that's all okay. that matters. The game is easy. She putting the game on easy. She said, if you make me smile, I got to get my meme game up. I'm gonna <laughs> send you some memes. Can that get me in the game? Oh, I don't know. Okay. If you're funny. That's what, nah, I'm trying to let yeah. the memes do that's the work. <laughs> I'm sending funny memes out here. All right. Okay. So say a guy is. Wait, what if I'm funny? Can I have another bitch? If you want, not with. But me, I'm funny. Though. No, but I'm funny though. But I'm hella funny all the time. I'm just funny with this bitch too. With not with me though. You know you want to say yes. Okay, no. thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. So you believe that most guess. men do not want multiple women? No, I'm not saying that most men don't. I'm just saying it depends. You know, there are uh -huh. men out here that are really in love. I feel and really just want their girl can you say that again i feel like, like just repeat that like i feel how you like said there that? are men that are out really out here in love i feel like there are just because uh, you oh haven't found it or God. you guys don't think Preach. i don't think it's oh out there God. she's preaching i think if i can love somebody that hard someone can love oh that, that see there you go see that's the problem right there projection you're projecting female nature onto male nature yeah you can love somebody that hard that's a beautiful thing that's mm -hmm. a female trait a man can love you as well. He loves you in a masculine way, which means that here's the difference. Where, where are you getting this from? Like, Well, mostly from science and just to share some curious. What sort of science? I'll, I'll, help out. I'll help you out right now. I so within the, the male Wikipedia. and female brain, the brains are actually different. And the neuroscience reveals that the hypothalamus in the male brain is three times larger than that of the female, it regulates certain traits like aggression that's why we tend to whereas you guys might talk it out we might fight it out you see it also regulates things like sleep or hunger you know, we tend to eat more we're also bigger than you we're aggressive animals it also regulates sex so we tend to think about sex a lot more than you all think about sex it's biologically determined by that which we naturally are which is to say that ducks don't quack because they choose to quack they quack because they are wired to quack just like males are wired to seek multiple females and females are wired not to be horse. What's up, girl? Come on, say some. What? I, I, Come on. I just, I think ha! whether it's that. First Montana. Percent, ha! I, I think that one person can be with one person. Oh, you know? that's so cute. So like, let me ask this question. Like Cause you that. know what? You said something said very so interesting, cute. Raya. No, that is so cute. Like, and we appreciate that. Cause we need you to be naive so we can fool you. Like, there I know, it is. Yeah, is so no, there we, it is, we guys. We need you to that's be naive so, so we can fool you. I know, Not right? Like, like, and the uh, guy that you end up with, he's going to give you that, like, I love you. I love did you. Did you get hurt? And then he's going to go out with the homies and do the most. And then, like, come back with the whole I love you, I love you story. And then you're going to find out later that that boy been doing some extracurricular. 
you heard of Jude Law, right? You know who Jude Law is? I feel like you're just putting it like a not Jude Law a good rep some, on some men things. right now. No, Wait. no. Most men are trying to do what you want. Can I give her a story? Yeah, give her a story. Check this out. It was a guy on YouTube not too long ago. This is a guy who was preaching nothing but like relationships and, mm. and like women. Your man oh, should be faithful oh, oh, to you, oh, this and that. I know this story. He he became such Ooh. a huge influencer on the entire space influencer of, of, of lies and, <laughs> and of selling women dreams. Yes. Women and loved women him. loved him. Loved him. Then it came around, and he got a woman pregnant. That woman uh -oh. had an abortion. Uh -oh. Then on top of that, he was messing around with two other women in the background Hello. while he had a wife and she had a kid. And all this was coming out. And this was the same man that was preaching to women on the internet yes. that if your man is cheating on you, mm. you should leave him and have some respect for yourself. And yes. I really think women be doing some stupid stuff. Like, why would y'all break up with y'all man for cheating? Yeah. Come on. Like... Come, you it wouldn't, depends I on mean, how much like, time. No, and love first is of all, like I it. mean, like look at y'all. Like you, you wouldn't cheat on you. Come on, stop it. Like okay, Jesus first of Christ. all, goddamn, who wouldn't cheat on you? Uh, wait, hold on. Why? Why? why, why <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> what? Why did you turn it on us? Why, why what? Are you what do you mean? What the insults? You don't like that I'm giving it back? No, why the insults? Oh, oh man, oh, man. <laughs> damn. Okay, damn. Look, oh man. <laughs> um but nah like maybe nah maybe you're, you're you are so sweet and i love that i really do i even like the way you look at me it's so sweet it's but the amazing thing is she could also kill me too that's what's scary about women saints in case you didn't know let you mess around and break a certain woman's heart your life might be on the line because all this sweetness flip straight upside down lorena bobby that's right you dig. And that's why when those divorce divorces occur, they're not going to be reasonable and say, you know what? It's over. Hey, we were together 20 years. It's over now. I'm going to go my way. You go your way. Let's just live our new life. Nah, they're like, you know what? Those are the best years of my life. And they want revenge. They want to take half your shit. Yeah. They want to get you for alimony. Child support. You can't see your kids no more. They'd be telling them, little Tyrone, your daddy, a deadbeat. He don't love you. <laughs> you know, be doing all this crazy stuff because you're emotional beings. And no. Mm. I'm emotional, but I, I would. Not There's do that. certain people know how to handle their emotions, and what you're describing is a human being that doesn't know how to handle their emotions. Do you know how and to handle turning, your emotions? Yeah, I've been through a situation where I'm forced to know how to deal with my What's emotions. That situation? Damn, I was just in a really bad like relationship. It's really bad, like physically and shit. But it was on both ends. So I also. I started it and like he kind of finished it. What sort of height thing. was this guy? He was shorter than you. Way shorter. How did, I, how did I know that? Because men that are tall don't hit on me. They're usually intimidated by me. Intimidated by you? Would yeah. you weigh like a buck 20? What? But I'm, dude, I'm 6'1 though. Like, look, no, no. You usually, let me say this. Though. Let me say this. Let me say this. Girl, I will have tall you men, picked up like this. Tall men tie a lot of their masculinity into their height. And when they see a woman, confident inside her height wearing heels and shit being the bad bitch that they are amen, okay amen, they amen. get intimidated <laughs> and buddy stop yes, they get so intimidated funny. and that's why so short funny. men only hit on me it's true this I'm, is I'm, so laugh all you want nah, i'm laughing laugh all you want i'm laughing through jabrizi right now i'm laughing through <laughs> jabrizi <laughs> <laughs> that's cool nah. that's great do you tie your masculinity to your height no because you're an average height male Oh wow. wait, I'm not average. Wow. He's like, I'm an inch above. Wow. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. What's your height? Wow. That was a hold on, just why the why the insult here, love? Why the I'm sorry, insult? I'm getting a little triggered why because you guys insult? have been coming for blood on all three of us, and yes. I'm low-key defending my girls because you've yeah, been coming for them. And yes. I'm like, we no. need that energy here. Yes. Thank yes. you. But but let me tell you some. But trip on this, trip on this. So okay. number one, because I have one and a half drinks here. Because because number one, and I know you didn't get to hear two of the, the pep shot. talks. These they heard two of the pep talks, oh, no, which no, is okay. I told you off rip. I said it's an entertainment show, so we're gonna be entertained. I said one of us is a complete demon animal. Me. I'm having fun though. And, I'm right. No, fun. but I even told them before that. Before you even came here. Um, so that has to put you in the mindset of like, okay, this boy is going to say some crazy stuff, guaranteed. Then you got to say to yourself, because you said earlier, you said um, you know how to handle your emotions. 
Now, that being the case, that's when you say, okay, I'm going to keep it player. Thank you. Which means, you know, he's going to say some crazy stuff. I'm going to laugh it off or I'm going to joke with him. I'm going to go back and forth and play with it, have fun with it. But the thing that's happening a lot in this modern era is that women become very masculine for whatever reason, whether it's because they experienced trauma in childhood, uh, whether that was verbal abuse, emotional, physical, sexual, what have you, but they assume masculine traits. And the masculine instinct is to fight. You know, when there's fight or flight, the fight is the male. And sometimes it's flight for the weaker males, but for the female, it's never fight. The science actually reveals that it's run or high is the female instinct. So I say that to say like your experiences make you like combat with it, even though I'm not in reality being combative with you. I'm just teasing you. Okay. We are, we are, okay. we are very, um, this ain't even the worst episode, ladies. Oh, fact, no. Oh, no. The worst episode. So why are you getting so, like, was like, 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 like five ooh, episodes ago. Down, though. You can't give it back. Oh, no, because I'm teasing you. Okay, I'm, cool. Like, no, because he insulted, the last time he insulted you first, then you insulted him back. And then I said, oh, why are we insulting? But I was talking to you. Because I'm messing with you. Okay, word. Yeah, by, on purpose. Okay, on purpose. word. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, But you need some ism in your life. She needs to be loved. She needs a real boss. And let me tell you something else yeah, that I observe. You're not wrong there, you. folks. So, look. And you sitting in that evil chair, too. Mariah, you should have told her. She's oh, this the is the chair. chair. This is the She's chair the of evil. Chair. Whoever sits in the chair, you look is bothered like all the time. Yeah. Really? Go back to every episode. Maybe it's, it's literally because it's closest to you. I don't <laughs> what? Huh? Stop. I don't do nothing. Um, Haven hmm. writes peace to the saints, Jabrizi, quiet, fresh, fresh. Thank Shh. you. Matthew writes, I just got my backpack, and wow, this is supreme quality. From the touch to the smell, a great example of our own product development. Thank you. Peace to the saints. Appreciate it. Shout out to the ballers, you dig? Who got their backpack briefcase? That's a you beautiful dig? backpack. All out. A lot of people compliment me on this joint for from old white ladies to the whole night. One old white lady was like, Hey, do you have a card? I was like, You really gonna cop this? This is special. I almost want to give her one for free. Mm. You know, because it'd just be cute to see an old lady wearing my Balling around your backpack. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Um, but shout out to the ballers who can afford it, you dig. Uh cop you one at manandwomanbrand.com. Uh, he writes, what they lack in the back, they pack in the cat. Ooh, oh. It's often the case, man. Them skinny ones. Ooh. And sometimes they got the Cannot fat Cannot confirm monk. nor deny. Yeah. And I like the fat monk. Do, do you know what a fat monk is? Oh, God. A uh, fat coochie? Yes. Wow. She yes, said it like my, that. Ooh, my. Uh, <laughs> ooh. <laughs> that fat coochie. Carry on. Huh? Carry on. Oh, my oh. oh. No, that's not. No, I, we know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he he he's in Saint City. Um, a oh, we we got a baller alert. Baller alert. Baller alert coming through with the Australian dollars. Writes peace to the Saints. I appreciate what you do, Marquette. These girls are backward. Oh, he meant that too. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But you know what, Saints? I do want to say, and you, I don't, I don't, I'm not BSing you guys because I would tell you, uh, these women are not too far gone. They're actually not too far gone. Uh, they can still be brought back to Jesus. And that's a beautiful thing. Um, ironically, though, she says the wildest stuff. I think the one that will be hardest to bring back to Jesus is this one right here. Because she on the low with her. She's going to be the hardest to bring back. But they could all come back to Jesus. So, What do you, you mean coming back to Jesus, though? <laughs> Which Your holy I mean? savior. I don't know. Tell me. That's why I asked. You don't have any guesses? No. Okay. Because them glasses be making me think you sharp. What do you mean coming okay. back to Jesus? So when I say coming back to Jesus, <laughs> metaphorically, I'm saying I think a lot of women show resentment toward male leadership because either they haven't had it at all, so they don't know what it is. And often what we're ignorant of, we tend to fear mm -hmm. or misunderstand. Or they've experienced a male who wasn't a man. You see, like you talked about the guy you were dealing with. Sound like he might have been a dirtbag. I'm not saying you're not a dirtbag. You might also be a dirtbag. But the thing is, if you're the leader, which is the male, if the girl's a dirtbag, doesn't mean you stoop down to that level, right? So if you like swing a punch at me, I'm not going to swing one back at you just because you swung at me. Because the thing is, if you connect with your punch, I'm going to still go to the club tonight and be fine. Turn in there, turns up going, yeah, yeah. If I connect my punch on you, uh, I'm going to need to go to jail because that might be attempted murder. You dig? So it's like, I'm not going to misbehave as a man. And so often females experience a male who is not a man, poor leadership, doesn't have guidance, doesn't have emotional control, and he breaks down. And then because you think that that was a man, 
then you fear everything that's associated with masculinity and masculine leadership. And so you become aggressive and resentful. And so when I say bring you back to Jesus, that's bring you back under the knowledge that a man can show you leadership, love, guidance, happiness over a lifetime. Okay. Word. Word to Big Bird. Word. Indeed. Alaric writes, tuition to the pimping and the magician. <laughs> Chica next to Quet is fire. Peace to the big saints. Peace to the saints. She is saint. fire, though. Like in a real way, though. C can we get a drip cam on you, real quick? They were talking about me. Yes. Oh they my were God. Yes, that was fun. <laughs> I love it. I love it. She said, Oh, that was me. They were talking about, Oh my goodness. Mar Marquette. 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 That sounds like a black name, though, don't it? Marquette, Marquette, get your ass in the house. Yeah, Marquette. Marquette, okay. Yeah. Quet, he called you Quet. That's why I was confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, indeed. Can we drip cam you okay. since you got the yoga workout? Um, I, let me see real quick. No, I don't, I don't think it's. There. We don't even. I don't even think. Wow. It's there. It's not. Um. No, I, wow. it's there. I can sit. I I can do a drip cam. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He put drip cam on the first girl. Okay. Settle. So so do I just stand up? In, okay. Yeah. So this is sorry, before I get up, this is from Sheen. I just want to say I bought all of this before the whole kids, the whole you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. I yeah, only so I just bought this it. before all of that. So please don't come at me. Thank I don't you. know what they're talking about. Oh, that's I'm why you don't. Mm. Y'all see what y'all gonna be doing? Okay. Y'all see what y'all gonna be Damn, doing. Damn, you guys. Oh, Wow, look at yoga, her. She's doing the yoga. posing too. Yoga. Okay. I love yoga. Can we get a yoga position? Get me a t-shirt. Wow. <laughs> okay, there's a line. Uh, uh, somebody give me a t-shirt that says I love yoga. Girls. Can I get the cat? I love yoga girls. That's the one. I love yoga girls. Should we make that? That would be dope. That might be cool. What yeah. you think, Mariah? Okay, cool. We're doing it. Yeah, All right. Uh, Tony writes, I have a few girlfriends. Uh oh, no, don't don't get mad at him yet. Let me read the question. I have a few girlfriends that are willing to earn from me. Hallelujah. How can I bring them together? I like that. They don't know each other. Or do I keep them separate? Mariah says, keep them whole separate and in the dark. What do you say? He being a player and uh, he need to keep them separate. Mm. Ah, that's what I think. It's, okay. He didn't convince him in the beginning. So it's going to be a tough one trying to convince him right now. True story. Uh -huh. What do you think, Mexican sauce? Mexican sauce. Um, I don't believe in. I mean, okay, I I believe in like polyamorous relationships. You but, nasty girl. But only, but Ooh. only if I'm the only one allowed to be polyamorous. You're bisexual. Yes. Nice. Okay. How, what kind of girls you like? I've actually never kissed a girl. Babe. And you're bi. What? Yeah, but I just know. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm a I'm co-signing that. Yeah, yeah, bullshit. Okay, carrying on. It's not bullshit. Um, yeah, ah. Carrying on. Uh, so, so you you've been eaten out by a girl, but you never kissed one. I would like to have a girl experience, but I don't know how to talk to women because I freeze up and I don't know when a woman is hitting on me. So it makes it difficult for me to foster that Can sort of connection with that. You? Can I facilitate? Okay. Would you mind? Sure. I got you. I got you. Okay, cool. What was the actual question here? Okay, cool. Yes. Um, Mariah, right? Yes. What should we do? Should we keep them separate and unequal or bring them together? Honestly, you have to do what works for your household, right? Like mm -hmm. we live in Vegas, so there's probably a bunch of pimps around here. Girls earning for people. I only seen one and pimp in Vegas. Oh, okay. Well, there's a ton. <laughs> but moral of the story pimping. is like, I feel like some people show that they got their girls together and some people don't. And so mm -hmm. I guess it works with whatever you put on the table with yeah. you and your girls, right? Okay. I hear that. Like, it's whatever okay. works for your household. Go ahead then. Oh, I think, I think you should bring them all together. Tell me more. I think that they should know what's going on and... You know, if the girls are with it, then maybe they can stay and like it. Some girls like that. Some girls want. Oh, she's to trying to together. fuck your stable up. <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to tear your she stable made down. Sound, yeah. She made it sound so peaceful. She's like, yeah. well, I think they should all yeah. know about each other. She said it for the benefit of the girls. <laughs> At first, she make it sound like it's yeah. a good idea. Like yeah. the way she said it, she'll make the a bad idea sound really good. This is a problem. You got to be careful. Be careful. No, be, be careful. careful. No, that was Jabrizi brings up a great point. You got to be careful because, um. 
they can destroy you subtly. Like it almost sounded like she was saying like, yeah, bring them together so that they can compete and stuff appease pockets. But what she was really saying is bring them together so that they have knowledge of each other and then they can make a decision on if they want to split and leave you broke high and dry. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, that's I that's agree. not what you were seeking. I don't think that's <laughs> do, do you think that's what he was seeking? I don't care what he is oh seeking. Oh my I god. Give me the next one. On. Give me the next one. She's savage. This is evil. There's evil right here. Evil is in the building. So, so the, savage. She said, I don't care. She really doesn't. <laughs> That's and that's how I know. I told you she ended up killing you, man. <laughs> NBA mastermind, right? See, I can't even smash. I can't because I'm a smash. She's going to be too in love with it. And then when I deny it, you're going to go, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. I already know. Uh, NBA mastermind, right? Top 1% woman is a bold, 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 bold claim. Bold, 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 bold. What do oh, she's excited you to have to us. offer that you've never offered to any other man? Oh, okay, so well, oh, you talking about so them this, draws been around? That's what he was suggesting. So, well, okay, because he said the top one percent. So this is before I went out of the room because we didn't get the yeah, conversation. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, girl. But the top one percent, it's not about looks, right? Because you could what? go change your money could buy you looks. Look at Kylie. Are like, you saying I'm that you're hating. beat? Are you saying you're beat? I'm, no, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> but, no, 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 no. What I'm saying is this is probably the first thing that's coming to everybody's mind. Right? Is, the so, is the looks. Okay. But I'm saying the 1% is more like to be elite is more okay. like how earlier you said that, okay, it's not about the woman having the money. It's about what right. can you do to help me get to the next destination, right. vice versa. Can you hold it down? Like, mm -hmm. does our household have any drama? Like being a top 1% comes with a lot more than just looks. But you know what's tripping me out? Because the 1% is unique, right? Like one percent. That's like out of a hundred women, you're the one. So that's unique. And the thing that trips me out is I feel like it's extremely typical and average to say I'm top one percent. So you're top one percent man, which means you got you're greater than all these other guys. But I want you to have the same thing they have. They all have one woman. I want you to have one woman. Whereas what I've observed, men who are wealthy, healthy, and wise, they have greater things than other men have. Like I got three cars. Most guys have one car. Mm -hmm. You heard me? I got five bedrooms. Most guys have two bedrooms or one bedroom. So I got more than everybody else got. So why in this one area of life you trying to hold me down like I'm one of these average ass motherfuckers? But like look. Wouldn't you consider Steph Curry a one percent? That nigga's a loser. Are you kidding me? You consider he is an absolute loser. loser. Okay, he is I a ain't loser. Say no, honestly, this guy I'm gonna tell you. Oh, he's about to defend her light no, skins. No, he, <laughs> he is a loser, and I'm gonna tell you why he's a loser. Somebody send this clip to him. Did you see how his fat faced wife went on television and made him look like an idiot? Talking you about the that? following quote. Steph gets all this attention from all these groupies and I don't get any attention. I mean, I want to be a pretty and attractive too. Like, why doesn't he, I, I, I'm starting to feel unattractive. So, You're married, uh, ma'am. You're huh? married. What do you need attention for? Well, number one, number two, you're fat. And number three, you have several kids. And number four, who are you? you like, so we upset. only know you because you have a husband who's famous you and talented. You, you have no one and nothing. Oh. Okay, so she so embarrassed him. My, so my question is, why does that make him a loser because of her actions? Because your woman is a representation of you. You hear me? And all men like to be represented by chaste, honorable women. I don't want my woman running in the streets. I don't want her exposing herself to strange men. I want my woman to be a good wife and mother and carry my last name. You hear me? Because you got blessed with my name. Her yeah. name meant nothing. Because guess did Isn't you her name Aisha Curry? Curry? Had, you, had you heard of Aisha before you heard of Steph? No. Do you exactly. know her real last name? No. Exactly. But wait, so you just explained every, even more than everything a woman is a one percenter. Like what makes a woman a one percenter? She ain't a one percenter. She is zero percent. I know, but you just, we're separating the difference of the one percent. Well, yeah, that's point, what I'm asking. So. Is like, why are you trying to have a one percent man have things that the 99 percent of men have? Shouldn't the one percent of man be treated like a pharaoh? And the pharaoh had all them chicks. You heard me? You look at the emperors, they had all them chicks. Just so why it. should he have what other men have you just want to have something greater you want like that a makes, common builder. tell me you you look at me like damn this nigga makes sense no, no tell no, me no, i'm not what, lying what you're saying does make Makes sense, sense. Thank yeah you, baby. no 100 I, I, I told you you're gonna come to jesus there is y'all might no. need to switch seats she ready but there is a hundred percent i believe like we're in a world full of a million people mm -hmm. like 98 percent uh-huh is going to be whatever. And that right. 2% of elite yeah. are going to do the right things, the right steps and want the right. Wait, whatever what their is value, the right thing? Yeah. Whatever, whatever they value, question. whatever their morals are. I can't say it to each person is different. Now, so. let me say this. 
let's just be honest like when it comes to to like people's morals they tend to shift due to the hierarchy they can be in right because like best believe you're not gonna step out of line with your boss right uh because you're gonna lose your job huh. well, that depends are but you the your boss maker? can step out of line as much as he wants yeah and he ain't gonna lose anything huh. but that depends are you the are you keeping track of how much money you're making the company saving the company you're a key player into what helps this company grow so therefore he would not dare you know, you might step out of line occasionally. Employees can be replaced. That's yeah, the they can. But how many how many of those employees are going to replace an elite employee? The person making without, listen, you have a company and then your company has to hire people below you, right? This is and true. those people help the company grow. So you can't, would, we're still human. Would you, you can't consider, disrespect nobody. Yeah, that's true. But would you consider the fact that however elite an employee may be, if they were at the highest level of being elite, they wouldn't be an employee. They'd be a boss. So we know we can always replace them. But you got to start somewhere. Right, exactly. And and all we're saying is that when you have a guy like uh, sweet uh, Carissa, like Carissa gets one of these sweet guys who's like, I love you, I love you, I love you. Well, the reason he's so stuck on her is nine out of nine, he, he like, oh, damn, this is the best I could get. Mm-hmm. This is the best I could get. Guy like me, if I love a Carissa... She got to know this is the realest love you ever had. And you know why it's the realest love you ever had? Because the big homie just got back from Monaco. Models everywhere. The big homie was just in Paris. You heard me? They trying to teach me how to French kiss in France. You did. So he didn't been all around the world with it and seen the baddest. When you want to talk about tall women in Northern Europe, baby, they like six four, six five. That's a on an Europe. easy day. You dig? Mm-hmm. So I say that to say this. I can go around this world, get anything I want. So when I come back to you, you know it's real. The kind of guy she dealing with, like, I love you, I love you. Man, he can't even get what I can get. So his love doesn't really mean nothing because it's not been tested. But this Bingo! Is, this is what, <laughs> but this is what makes her elite. You could go all around the world and do the same stuff with the 98% people. This, well, no, 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 no. Well, you no, listen, mm-hmm. I was in Monaco. That's not 98%. That's 1%. Well, you're saying you could go around all That's the world. That's top level the vagina. Stuff to all yeah. The women. What he's so, saying yeah. is this. You, you're forgetting. Okay, he's saying, all right, if you're a 1% woman, you should understand the concept that a 1% man yeah. should not be treated like the 99%. Right. Well, who's treating you anyway? And I mean, I mean, just be, be, I mean, you could be honest. Just say like you want a common villager. That's what yeah, you want. Yes. You don't want a king. You don't want the chief. You don't want the, want the top deal. You yeah. want actually the person who's right beneath the king. Like you want something. He'll follow directions. He'll follow your directions. Do yeah. what you say and do what society says. Yeah. He's not a boss. Yeah. Anyone can push him around and bully him at any point in time. And yeah. you could even bully him if you wanted to. Yeah. And you could even steal from him, rob him. Uh oh. Like you could do whatever. The Hello. government can do whatever they want to him. He'll Hello. take whatever punishment comes his way. Hello. And he'll bow down and take the knee. But you guys ain't met as many cool people as me. Like if you knew me in the outside life, I'm chill. <laughs> like whatever you want to do is what you want to do. But like how are, you are chill? we on the same page? How are you chill when I can't? How are you chill when I can't have another woman? That's the opposite. If of that's chill. what you want, I'm saying if that's what you mm-hmm. want. Do what you want, but it yeah. just ain't with me. Literally. That's not chill. That's not the like, opposite of chill. That's not no, the opposite not. of chill. Well, I feel like, like you're lying to yourself. Be, that's not friends. lying to yourself. We that's having standards you set fun, for yourself. These are, these are what but my, this is what I want. I thought the person who's at the that. top can set the standard, not the people oh, beneath. Oh, but oh, you can girl. set standards oh. for yourself. Like, what do you mean? So you're going to sit here and tell the truth. You're going to sit here and tell me that I'm going to let somebody else set standards for me. When they don't know my life, they don't know what I've been through. They don't know what I'm going, what I want to do. They don't know anything about me, but I'm going to let them set standards for me that I have to adhere. I'll say this. The wise thing is you should, because if they're, if they're at a higher caliber of life than you, their bar and where it's set, the standard for them is way higher than yours. Yours is, I'm just saying like, when you get around people who are smart, intelligent, Ooh. Uh, who have things okay. that you don't, who have more Uh-oh. experience in the world than you now do. No, I can understand that. That 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 that's a, using that's a, their that's a standards to set your own for yourself is Jeez. different. Self focused. On myself, yeah. Damn. Why why is that bad? That's terrible. How is that bad? Where has it led you so far? You are single right now, right? Because I want to be. Nobody wants to be single. I, I would. Single. I want to be no. single. I don't want to um, deal with somebody else. So here's the thing, and this is one of the challenges in. We tell ourselves stories to protect the ego or the psyche, but the stories are not true. Like, for example, like the African-American male in America is a representation of hyper masculinity, not normal masculinity, but hyper masculinity. We're the athletes, we're the criminal stereotypes, we're big, strong, buff, covered in tattoos. 
we're hyper masculine. We're the rappers. So I could already tell that you don't vibe with masculine men. And that's why I was able to piece together. I was like, you never been with like a, a Jordan black guy. I already knew that off rip. And then with your height, you're six one. And that's not super tall. And I said, oh, you were with a guy who was shorter than you. Shorter than you could have been six one or six foot or five eleven. But he's what five? Probably like five six. Five six. That's a woman's height. I mean, no disrespect. I don't. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. But what I mean by that is like five six is a low average for a man. So that's literally defined as small. How did I know that, love? I know that because I have enough experience dealing with people in all strata of income and in all cultures that I can assess you really quickly. And so the story you're telling yourself is tall guys don't want to deal with me because they're intimidated. That doesn't make any sense. That's not even logical. And even if it was an issue of tall guys, you went to a guy who's five six. That's small. Like that's not even normal height. That's like a small male. So that, why would you do that? Because subconsciously, there's something in you that wants to dominate, and you dominate at a strong level. Because five six ladies, can we agree? Five six is a small guy. Y'all don't want to speak the truth. No, I I agree. I don't. <laughs> I, 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 that's I don't small. want to dog this. Five, six, man. I no, love short men. I love short men. No, nah, so I mean, adorable, shout out but... to him for, for pulling up on you. But I'm just saying, like, how did I know he was a small guy without knowing you? I just met her today, by the way. How did I know that? Because you, you read it right there. I like to dominate people, I guess. I don't know. I like to have the cards. I like to control. Not control, but, like, I like to 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 be the one like in power in the relationship I if feel that makes you. sense and you know the thing about it and i know you'll probably never take the opportunity but i really want you to is because like you talked earlier i say uh could you ever be with a guy who didn't, could not please you physically and you're like nah that's cool like you've had your body fucked but you never had your mind fucked and you never had your agreed mind and that's why i'm single Right, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get you on this pimping. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bless you with this Isabel, but on a serious note, um, I, I feel like there's so much we we can grow with, and I hope you like continue coming around the podcast and, and hanging out because I, I like your energy, and I also like that you're sincere and honest. I, I think you have a lot going for you in that regard. Oh well, damn, that was the only sweet thing that. He said to me, so I really that. dang. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm slide you some more compliments on the low. Thank you. Uh, Kyo Ken X9 Thou Wow writes, There are more women than men on average. Praise the Lord, because mm -hmm. I need more than one. If you want to protect all women, don't they need men? I'd say so. You don't want your daughters thinking they can fight men, right? Also, six, uh oh, six one shorty. That's an oxymoron. Don't have a clue. <laughs> Six one shorty, you don't have a clue. Oh, he's foul. Uh, ladies, you want to address that? I guess we'll start with six one shorty. Okay. <laughs> First of all, clue about what, sir? That you gotta, you have to, in order for me to uh, combat that, I, I gotta have like some sort of information there. But um, I mean, gosh, you read it right there on the head. I think I'm a little bit more of a masculine woman, so mm -hmm. my response to that would be, why do they all need protecting? I don't think any woman's really masculine. Like, I feel like we right. say like yeah, she's yeah. a masculine girl. I don't think you, they really you might display them. masculine traits, right. but I think that in the right circumstance and with the proper like healing and comfort, it'll just fade away. No. It'll just fade okay. away. Yeah. Um, but you say why do women need protecting? Like, would you be throwing hands with dudes? No, I don't no. Like protecting, what do you mean? Like protecting physically or protecting emotionally? Sadly, I think it's really hard to protect people emotionally. Um right it's yeah. kind of tough like even if jabrizi wanted to protect you and like like i could just say some wild stuff that would tear your soul out right now and he couldn't like block you from hearing it right but if i tried to dive over the table and choke you to death he could probably stop that right so i'm assuming that they're talking about uh physically you want me to get the next one yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. all right yeah, I got we'll it. Roll up. all right for sure for sure <laughs> I had on Red Sox yesterday, which is funny. When you're like, who else wear Red Sox? I was like, okay, <laughs> Red Sox yesterday. Uh, NBA Mastermind writes, below average wagon chicks don't get to talk to Breezy like that. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, y'all bogus for that, man. Y'all bogus. We going to move on. Was that, for, was that for me? That was for me. I just really, 
Okay. I'm, you know what? I feel like when you bend it over, it all be righteous. Okay. They don't understand tall girls, man. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop disrespecting these tall girls like that, man. See, I love women. That's all Jeremy. right. Get I'm out of my way, tall, sir. Tall, small, short, thick. I like them all. Facts. You did. I like them tall. Do ooh wee. I like Dwayne them tall. writes peace to the saints tuition. You gotta say peace to the saints. Okay, we're gonna get that one day. Uh, Beast with red pill writes, Marquette, do you need someone to do timestamps for your lives? Also, I do timestamps for fresh and fit, modern life dating, and many more. I also DM you on IG. Now, we actually got a guy who's been doing them at no cost and doing a great job at it. He just volunteers, pulls up, and timestamps the whole damn thing. Oh, it's amazing. Yes. That's a song. Yes, it's crazy. Shout out to him. He's a real one. You're going to see him in the comments, too. Shout out to him. We need to send him something. Hey, bro, the guy who does the time stands, if you're in the States, let me know. We want to send you something. Right. Hustlers HQ, it's peace to the Saints. Fax Kellerman and Jabrizi holding it down. These ladies need the ism in a real way. And I really honestly... Um, did you forget my name? Chloe. I there would you never go. forget your name, Chloe. Mm-hmm. Chloe. Right. That's why it took you a you, second. I really feel like you would benefit from the ism so much. What is the ism? What you need. Right. Exactly. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Nick writes, peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. She getting good. Just paying tuition. I might have to pull up on the yogi chick. Real talk. Ooh. Ask about me. Namaste. Namaste. I feel you, bruh. I just want to know who she really is because I feel like I'm dealing with the surface level right now. All I know is that she a cold hearted killer. That's all I know. What you know what's crazy? I get the whole vibe from her like this. This is like the the yoga area girls, and you're a little spiritual, right? You probably be more spiritual. I feel like with them, they're very loving people. Mm-hmm. They can be very consistent. Mm-hmm. I feel like she she right now, I don't know if you, you do you feel attacked? Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. No. Okay. You know what? Well, she doesn't feel out? attacked, but she's like, she's like so quiet over there. She's probably meditating. She's <laughs> probably she meditating, meditating right now. And you, you watch Dragon Ball Z. I know you do. I do not. Oh, you don't. That's crazy. <laughs> I like how she That's said crazy. that. Asking some more crazy stuff. I know. You watch Pokemon. I do not. You, you have you ever watched Pokemon? I have not. Where were you? How old are you? I'm 20. Shoot. Did Dang. you support Amber Heard? I do. I do not. I, wait, what? No, you said I do? She said I do, I do not. I do not. No, because I was going to say I don't, but okay. I do not. No. Okay, all right, okay. fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I'm just tripped out that you're from Vegas and you're pretending to be normal right now. Like Damn. You're pretending like you're not on meth and like that your life is together and you're from Vegas at you the same time. So my life is definitely not together. Okay. It may seem like it is, okay. but Mariah said it's she's not. from Vegas. What's I got to do? Ve- yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Look at how she looking at me. <laughs> Robbie having a problem with people uh, every night. Uh, <laughs> she's like, man, stop saying yeah. stuff over there. Um, Your life is not together. Tell me more. I mean, I'm young. I still have a lot that I want to figure out, that I want to do. You know what's trippy, though? You're not young. I know it might sound crazy, but like I was thinking, right? We're in a society that gets increasingly immature because the female's body, your prime birthing age is 16, like to get the healthiest babies physically is 16, right? You're four years past that. So you're 20. In your late 20s, um, that's when kids have a higher likelihood of Down syndrome and all these other things if you start having babies when you're like 28, right? So like whereas we like feel like we're young. We're actually not young. We're just immature because the way the society has been like taking care of us a little too strongly. Because like my grandmother had nine kids. You know when you got to start having babies? If you have nine of them hoes, you got to start early. Well, I don't plan on having. How many are we gonna have? I mean, one maybe if that. Two. What in the white girl again? Did one? Well, baby? first of all, if we're being honest, babies are not on my mind at all right now. Like I uh-huh. maybe one day I will have a family. I will have mm-hmm. that, but as of right now. Mm-hmm. I do not want. When are you gonna have these these little brown babies? When the Lord wants me to have Mm -hmm. babies. When I forget to pull out. (laughs) (laughs) That's when I. That's when I text her like, "Hey, you was on birth control, right? (laughs) Are are you on birth control though?" Oh God, that makes perfect sense because you're like all natural, right? Like you, you like natural. So that's things. why, like, even if I personally feel like if I do have a baby later on, 
I, I take care of my body very well. So I'm that's not worried about that. Oh, you think it's going to snap back? No, I know it will snap back. Okay, that's what's up. Okay. Said, no, I know. That's what's up. Nah, hey, hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I like that. She said, no, I know. Are, are you bisexual? Um. Yeah. Can you just say yes? And quit <laughs> yeah. just, just say yes no, and quit playing I with us, please. I agree with what she said. I do find women attractive. Me too. But I get so nervous around them. Like, Because they crazy or why? No, just because I feel like, like, no offense, but... Mm -hmm. Men, I personally feel like, are just so easy to talk to. They're okay. so easy, and just women. Like, Why would that be offensive? That is easy to yeah, talk to me. Ah, oh, yes. look Thank at you. the evil Thank in you. her oh, face. Look at that. Why? I'm having a nightmare about you. Wow. Yeah, I, you have to be a lot more real with yourself. I like how we start them. talking about vagina. Mariah's like, look here, I got this. Guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> speaking to the mic, we can hear. Speaking to yeah, the that mic, mic open. And you ad lib, and that mic is on. Yeah, it's on. Okay, all right, cool. Um, so you're saying um, your your game is weak. Go ahead, tell me more. Yeah, I mean it might be a little bit when it comes yeah. to women. Yeah. But she better start watching the podcast, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead though. We ain't yeah, never no, talking to y'all. That, that's all. That's what your question was. If okay. I was by. That's what's up. If you make me happy, that's all that matters. Uh huh. Okay. And what about you? I forget the question. Oh. Bisexual. Oh no. Not at but all. I think women are beautiful. Like, I have no problem with uh -huh. saying, girl, you look good. Like, damn, <laughs> that, ma. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. But I'll never be like, oh, let me take you back here. Okay. No, no. <laughs> never. Let me, let me take say, you back I'm here. Not, <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not really attracted to women in that manner. But you I think never kissed a girl. Yo, she yes. sounded like she about to uh, oh take God. advantage of y'all. Okay. Let me you take know, you back here. 100%. Like, you know, when you're young and you're having fun and you're just doing shit, like, uh -huh. whatever. That's it. So you kissed her and it was just like, I. I was just drunk, like, okay, no. Y'all see that <laughs> liquor get some of them in the zone. You heard me? Okay, cool. You heard. Uh, mm, okay, we ready? Yeah. A plus MVP writes, passage of a woman from virginity is the great dividing point in her life. Let's just pause this real quick. Look. Um, when did you lose your virginity? I was 18, I think. 18 or 19. That's what or 19. Okay, I'm already done with you. Here we are back here. <laughs> <laughs> here we are back here. That's going to be every wow. answer on the, on the panel here. now. I'm, do I'm done wow. with you. I am done with you for the whole night. But you're still one of my favorite people, though. But I'm done with your ass. Uh, whilst the corresponding event in the case of a male has very little relation to the course of his life, do you agree? Peace to the saints. Um, she don't know when she lost her virginity. Do you know when you lost yours? Were you there? Cause she wasn't there when she lost her. I was there. I just don't remember what uh, age I was. I was definitely there. You were there. I remember my age. I was okay. of age, okay. but I would prefer not to say my age. Fair enough. Okay. Um. But wait. So are in this question? Are they referring to like a woman losing her virginity is going to change the course of her life, or it's going to determine the course of her life? As of to a male, it will not. My understanding, he says, passage of a woman from virginity, meaning I would think meaning losing her virginity is the great dividing point in her life, which I would suggest that who you were before and after the virginity are different aspects. And I would think that he's suggesting that a woman sleeping with someone matters a lot more to them than the guy. And as much as he says, the corresponding event in the male has very little relation to the course of his life, which maybe he's saying, if you lost your virginity in a whole way, then you about to walk down a whole road if you lost your virginity in a, where you were like awake and you were there and you knew what age you were then maybe uh your life is going to be a little more stable moving forward oh i see that's my that's an interpretation so what y'all think y'all think after y'all lost your v card like y'all life is like y'all just became demons or something like what happened go ahead what's up rissa um um Oh God <laughs> damn. How'd you lose your virginity? Um, I was young. I was pretty young when I lost my virginity. Um of age also. Mm -hmm. um, um they always gotta throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. We ain't trying yeah. to put the feds on nobody. Yeah. No, I ain't gotta throw that in there. <laughs> I just feel like I don't know. It just happened. Yeah. Like No, I say how, how do you feel now that you lost it? Like how do you oh, feel when you lost it? Did you did, did you change it to a demon? No, I just was when it happened, I was like, this is whack. Like, this is... Damn! <laughs> <laughs> wow! 
Well, right. obviously, like, Felt. I'm older now. Yeah. Like, I know what I like, what I don't what like. You, what do you like? Um, that's, <laughs> yeah, like that's black. Like what black, do don't you? Like, um, you like black, don't you? Try to find out. I like all BBC. of the above. You like all of the above. Yes. Black. All right. So, what about you? What do I like? No. Uh, she she wanted, tell oh, no. Stop changing this question. You know, I had a comeback. Did you change to a demon after you lost your dinner? Yes or no? No. Okay, great. You? Um... She wasn't even there, bro. Oh, that's right. No, okay, 18, hold 19. on. Stop it. No, no. All right, I was there. It was by choice. I purposely did it with somebody I did not know because I was just trying to get it over with. Okay. Yeah. You, I'm signing you up for a session with me, okay? All right? Jesus. We're going to spend some time. Therapy. What? We're, a therapy spending... session? No, no, I didn't say therapy. Okay. I didn't say therapy. You but said we, session. We are going to spend some time, okay? Yeah. Carrying on. <laughs> Mariah had it. You see how happy she is now. <laughs> Next, Hoel writes, "Peace to the saints." Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. All right, Mariah, can can you tell me why some girls just get it and some don't get it? Like, can, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm, am I in the twilight zone? <laughs> I, I, okay. All right. Fair enough. Peace to the saints. It is a great topic, and thanks for giving us free game. I appreciate it. And it's only free game if you don't support the work, and you have, so we, we appreciate that. And if you haven't, since we go ahead and click that like button, you dig. Carrying on. Facts. Louie writes, nothing Baller. but truth. Oh, Baller alert. Baller alert. Baller alert. Shout out to Mariah for being on point. That's like a double baller alert. He didn't pull it up. Louie racks. You dig. Facts. Nothing but truth. Keeping it P. Tony Parker. Right, so I'm definitely not a P. I'm a square, but I'll still run circles around you. Yiddy! Question for the men. Do you keep your women together or separate? That is a brilliant question. Go ahead. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, oh man, that's when I was back in like high school, mm -hmm. it was it was together. Yeah. Like that okay. was the thing. Uh, huh? Yeah. Is it incriminating? <laughs> Your words <laughs> <laughs> Man, this ain't incriminating uh, right here. Uh, but for real though, I mean like in due time, uh, we're gonna see what I do. Uh, That's my next step. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if you couldn't predict my moves, would you test me? <laughs> um, you know what, P, I, I'll tell you this, Tony. I think it is the instinct of every moral man to bring people together in general, whether it's bringing friends together, uh, building relationships and rapport among good people. And I think it's a beautiful instinct to want to bring your women together. We call that family, yeah. right? So I think that's great. And it's really the low quality of human beings like jealousy, envy, um, things like that, that make it hard to bring women or certain personalities together. So I would think it's a beautiful thing if you get to bring them together. I have women who are like, Quet, you know, I don't mind you having me and so and so, but we can't live in the same house. I'm like, damn, this house hella big. Like, why are we <laughs> this house hella big? Like, why we can't live in the same house? They're like, that's just my thing. I can't live in the same house. I got my own kitchen, my own this, my own that. I don't want to be under the same roof. Like, All right, for sure. So this is the play I'm about to run. I'm gonna buy another house. Yeah, I'm gonna buy another house, a big house. And I'm going to just primarily stay in that house. And if y'all want to come see me, y'all got to come to this house. That's player. You feel me? And yeah. I'm a true believer that um, good people will always get along with good people. And it's just a mystery, right? Because like say if you two young ladies are both friends and you're civilized, reasonable people, um, just because we're all, you're both dating me doesn't mean that there'll be any issue when you come together. I think it just has to be a, a civilized basis, which is like, all right, if you're Monday through Wednesday and you're Thursday through Sunday, when we're together, we're not going to be like physically affectionate. We're just going to keep it like a little more hands off while we're together. So it's not awkward. What do you think? Um, you wouldn't be with me if you had another girl. Why are you still dating suckers? Like, just, like for real though. I'm not dating anybody. I'm not dating. You single right now? Yeah. You're trying to get you a boss though, huh? No. You I'm need just, to be. No. Quit playing with me. Anyways, uh, carrying on. I have on. a question. Why do they need to be a boss? Like, do they have to have multiple women in order to no, be a no, boss? No, no, they don't have to. Man, it's, it's just that when you because like you guys are referencing that a lot. Like you guys have multiple women. Let so me ask such. you a real question. So I'm just trying to figure out like what your definition of a boss is and why you think that other people have Let to share the same one. Let me ask you a one. real question. Sure. You ever hear of stories of men getting caught cheating? 
or busted cheating. You ever hear of stuff like that? Yeah. When you got caught or busted, that means you were lying, right? Lying is a position of weakness. That's what most men do. They, they look you in your eye and they lie to you because they're scared of what you're going to do. They don't have the strength and power to look you in your eyes and tell you, Chloe, you're a lovely lady. I love you very much. I hope that we can be together forever. Okay. I also have her and I hope the same. I love you for different reasons. You're very different people and we're going to carry on like that. And I'm not asking you. That's what it is. And the reason I can do that for my position is because I'm winning like a motherfucker. Do you think that money has anything to do with that? It's not money because I've been living super player my whole life. There's a capital card called charm. You dig that? Yeah, I dig that. Yeah. So there's a lot of different capitals. And truth be told, you'll never be able to maintain your wealth over time unless you have something other than money. Because money's an illusion, right? So there are women that will be with a guy just because he's charming or just because he's intelligent. There are so many, that, or because I make you feel charming and intelligent. I make you feel good. It's the way I make you feel. There's a lot of different capitals. And I think that when you find a guy who's really fitting into you well, you're going to be like, you know, I'm not going to lose you over something petty. But the, that, and then, okay, so then you have to kind of take it from how long have you been together with this person? Like, if I did find a guy that I didn't want to lose and he yeah. did che- cheat on me and we were together for well, like maybe you, more than a year, it is cheating if it's after the fact. Right, right. If he tells yeah. you, but, but you know, I'm keeping it solid with you, love. I'm if it was something bread. more than like, if we were together for like a, a larger amount of time, like a mm-hmm. year, mm-hmm. I could do that. Cause I've explored right. poly relationships yeah. for sure, but I have to make sure that I'm the main. That you're the, the main. Oh, what, what do you mean like uh you thought she said the man yeah i thought she I did too like, i was like god damn i'm yeah. out i'm out the main um, by main do you mean like you're more important than the other woman there's just more of a, a connection there i don't want the connection that we share to be shared with anybody else well it's impossible right like like for example like take you and carissa right here right you okay. guys are so radically different females, even by the way, like you're comporting yourself, like your, your volume of speech, your appearance, um, you know, your thinking, very different for the most part. There's no way I could love you in the same way, right? That wouldn't even make sense. You, know, you have different qualities for me to love, right? So like I, I could never love you more or less. I would love you differently. Okay. Yeah. I get what you're saying with that. Yeah. That being said, I don't think that I would want somebody to to love me and love somebody else like that. Right. I, I, I truly believe you truly believe that. And I think that the thing that saddens me is that it's like not your best qualities that make that the case. It's your worst qualities, meaning it's like jealousy, it's envy. And when you say things like, I want to be the main woman, it's you're talking about superiority. And when you look through history of humankind, the thing that has caused the most bloodshed and pain in humankind is the feeling of superiority. It's not superiority like that, though, because then when you say su- superiority, it's like I'm placing myself on a pedestal above this other woman. It's not like that, well, though. If you're the main, is she the side piece? I mean, what are we talking no, about? No, it's about the connection. Like, I'm not going to have him share this intense, beautiful connection but, like, let me with throw somebody this out. else. Let me throw this out here, though. Like, all right, raise your hand if you've ever been cheated on. Any Ooh, girl yeah, here? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. You've never been cheated on? I've never been cheated on. Okay, fair enough. Never... At least I don't think so. Okay, well, okay. he was five, six. So. <laughs> that's fair enough, fair enough. Carry on. i'm just saying this like and the dudes y'all got with that cheated on you were not bosses correct oh, no. like, like okay regular great. people be cheating out here yeah and, I, and in my head i'm like well if you're gonna get cheated on by a oh, regular guy so then you just made the distinction right there that i needed no there's a distinction between a regular person and then the look- boss right there's a big distinction. That's and what, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. And one tells the truth and one doesn't. And you, what he's saying is this. A person operating from power, like people respect power. Yeah. And the thing is, like, you know, if you're dealing with someone who can be honest with you like that, yes. the rest of the things that come out of their mouth are probably going to be very honest. Yeah. So ask yourself, what are you dealing with when you're dealing with everyone else? Yeah. Ooh, like you're, you're, that you're dealing good. with like okay, very that's dishonest that's, that's people. I just want honest people around me. I want honest uh, people around me. Okay. Because I know like if harm ever comes my way. Well, honest people will let me know. They're not trying to set me up. They're not doing anything foul behind my back. They'll never do anything behind my back. They're actually 
really respectful people. Then it's absolutely 100% me. I don't want somebody that's going to share that energy with somebody else. Bottom line. Well, all I'm saying is this, like, and I guess I'll admit to you, like my jealousy issues this, and all of that. You know, stuff. you know, women also want to play with lions and swim with animals like sharks and stuff. And they don't want the sharks and animals to kill them. But the truth of the matter is you go playing with lions and, and, and swimming with sharks, you're going to get bit. So all I'm saying is just be honest with yourself because, like, that's just most men. Even an unattractive dude. Y'all got some Oof. – like, y'all be messing with unattractive broke men. Come on, man. And they be cheat on y'all too. Because they give you the right amount of attention at the right Exactly. Time. So you exchange intention to get cheated on. That's crazy. No, I've never been cheated on. <laughs> <And> they got- <laughs> I have that never been know. cheated on ever. Like, you do, know you, do you truly <laughs> – no, on a – and not even joking, like, do you truly believe that you have – been with men who have been 100% faithful to you. I'm not asking about evidence. I'm asking about your personal belief. Do you truly believe that these men have been Evidence says no. Personal belief, questionable. I've lived with somebody before and like Mm -hmm. that relationship, absolutely not. There's no way he'd even have the time to because we woke up and like slept with each other and all of that. He didn't go into the office or anything? Yeah, I know. I mean, he went into the office, but what is he going to do? Fuck a girl in the freaking thing? I I can can literally show you a video right now of me in Puerto Rico fucking the daylights out of a Puerto Rican chick in my office. I also have a situation in Chicago. My office in Chicago I was getting the most amazing brain, but I don't have a video. Okay, but you I probably wish. <laughs> yo, I wish, look, I wish. you probably work in a good <laughs> office. Brain. It was amazing brain. I just wish. They be they be I acting know. they be acting like like all because you see me and you do not mean yeah. I can't do what I gotta do. Yeah, yeah. come on, stop it. It's amazing. Now I'm just talking about recreational stuff. There. I'm not talking about like if I'm in a, a committed relationship with you, but um. I think like the thing that saddens me, we're going to get off this, get onto these super chats is that like, you're looking for a guy who's in a weak position so that you can predict and control. And that's, that hurts me. Cause I know you're not going to get the best man. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're, you're just going to be like settling. And we were talking about high standards earlier. And I feel like that's not high standards. And I know that there's better things out there for you. And I always tell guys when they ask me for advice and they say, Oh, I could do this. or I could do this. I said, no, 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 forget all that. What would you do if you weren't scared? And that's the question you should always ask yourself in life. If I wasn't scared at all, what would I do? And a lot of what we're doing is because of fear. Like your, your fear of being dominated or your fear of a guy not treating you right or fear of a guy cheating on you. You need to be dominated for sure. You too tall. <laughs> Can we move on to the next Super Chat? Oh, um, Christ. Keyshawn writes, peace to the saints. Much love to y'all. Thanks. Thank you for all that you do. Also, Jabrizi, keep going with the character dressing videos. They are creative and fresh. And if he's talking about the ones oh, I think you. he's talking about, those are cold. Oh, thank you. On thank TikTok, you. right? Yes, yes, yeah. What do I search on TikTok to pull up those videos? Oh, just pull up my name, Jabrizi. Jabrizi. Just Jabrizi. J-I-B-R-I-Z-Y. J-I-B-R-I-Z-Y. Yeah, and those are cold. Very professional, cool videos. I, I really like those personally. And Thanks. you can get some style tips too. Yeah, I'll be trying to teach people how to, how to dress, man. Yeah. And they, uh, piece, some people need to learn. Um, Shia, you, you, you successfully blocked somebody, Mariah? Oh, uh, wouldn't let me block them. So I Timed them out. out. Okay, dope. Okay. That's cool. Congratulations. Ray writes Would any of the ladies on the panel consider themselves 304s oh. or relationship girls? What's a 304? Okay, so we're going to keep this quick because we got to wrap this okay. up. So, hey, are, uh, are you a 304, aka a ho, uh, 304, you know, on the calculator, mm-hmm. flip it over, That's right? That's cute. So, are you a 304 or a relationship girl? Which one are you? Um, right now, I think I'm a little bit in a hoe phase. Okay, nice. great. Three nice. All right, what's up? Relationship. Relationship. Okay, what's DMs. up? What you doing, girl? <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know. I call myself a hoe. Like, hey, it's okay like if I'm, you do. We ain't gonna, I'm we ain't gonna neutral. stop. Neutral. Like, I mean, if something Did she comes say my, I'm neutral? If something comes what? my way, then. I That's see. I'm nice. on the same energy though, but like for that, they they consider that. No, you are not. You not. You just said. Yes, you... I am. If somebody's, if dude, if somebody that's hitting all the marks comes my way and like, we gonna stop this right now. That? Next, next yes. super chat. Bring this up, please. We gonna stop this foolishness today. Justin writes tuition. Peace to the saints. Peace, Peace to the saints. saints. Shout out to the feisty shorty on the right. We know who he's talking about. Carrying on. <laughs> He talking about six one shorty. Baller Baller alert! Scott Oregon writes, yo, first time listening to you guys. Really? Wow. Okay. That's what's up. up. Thank you. And he came in strong. 
Would it be fair to say that the main reason why most females have kids at such an old age is because most guys they hook up with are of low value and cannot provide the security females crave? That's deep. Now, let me ask this question. Do y'all feel like most of these uh, non-baller specific me. guys y'all dealing with can provide y'all with security? Yes or no? I haven't met somebody that could, so I'm going to say no. And that's why. Wait, you haven't met a guy who can provide you with security? Like financial security or yeah. like? No. All around. All I around. provide for myself. Emotional yeah. security, all that. Yep. Got to do crazy. it for me. Oh, what up? Hey. Damn, this is a I think therapy. I'm good. She good. Okay, that's what. What's up, baby girl? All right, what up? Okay. <laughs> is that was up, baby. <laughs> I was not listening that well. Oh, I'm gonna tell you why. Because she was making deep eye contact with me. No. I'm gonna tell you why. She was making eye contact with me and speaking into the mic, distracting me. I can hear like you breathing in my ear right now. I Did can, you hear me breathing in your ear? <laughs> I got the headphones on. I Did you breathe? No, I didn't hear you breathing in my ear. Girl, no, I mean, no, I guess I could definitely hear the breathing. Yo, of course, I have, absolutely. I have penetrated her psyche. She says she could hear me breathing in her headphones, and nobody else could. That's deep. That That's is deep. You love me. Now answer this question. <laughs> okay, so the question is: um, Do you think that most of the guys that you're dealing with, like the everyday guys you're dealing with, you know, dating and hooking up with, are providing you with? Uh, emotional security and financial stability and and everything stability in your life it's just all around no okay great all right she's awesome. blinked like 30 times you didn't boggled her mind i know she didn't thought about like damn I'm messing with losers all right come oh. on let's go to the next one now uh the the short sleeve shirt is fresh saint uh where can i grab it hey, i appreciate that we should probably produce these because a lot of people like these I actually got this one in Europe, um, in Switzerland, in Zara. So I don't know if it's at all of the Zaras, but you might be able to get it at one in the States. But for sure, if you're in Switzerland, uh, they have it. But we, we're going to look into producing this one because nice. people definitely like the material on this one. So I appreciate that. Thank it's you. It's a good shape and cut. Nice. No, that's just because I'm diesel, bro. They ain't really cut that good. <laughs> <I'm just diesel. laughs> the rock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. Uh, questions for the table. Are career women just as happy as employed, uh, empowered as housewives? All right. So uh, who is a career woman on this uh, panel? Career One, woman? two, three. All right. <laughs> Are you just as happy and empowered as a housewife? I think what makes you happy and empowered is if you found your purpose. So if your purpose is sitting at home and um, what's the word for it? Basically mm. submitting to a, a gentleman. Ooh, yeah. Like, then yeah, you're happy. And if you're a career woman yeah. and you're out there going and getting the bag and that's what you thrive on, then mm. yeah, you're happy. So it's all about mm. your personal purpose and your peace. Man. She halfway right, but go ahead. All right. Well, what up? You a career woman? Uh, yep, career woman. I are you just as happy as a housewife? Like, you know, an empowered housewife? <laughs> said empowered housewife. Empowered. <laughs> just saying that. I agree with her. Um, absolutely agree with her for sure. All right. And What's up, Rissa? Yeah, I think that you could be happy either way. It depends on what okay. you're into. And they are all lying. Okay, next question. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, my God. All right. Oh, what's up? Tony Parker in the building. All right. Why have one B if you can have five? Why oh. have five Bs when you can have nine? I'll give away oh. a B. You can have mine. I need a break. <laughs> I need a break from a B like I have time. Hey, I feel that, baby. <laughs> I feel that. You have to come out with a new album. You did. Uh, Y'all caught up? Hey. Okay. The cash apps? All right, cool. I ain't going to lie, man. Yeah, I feel that, man. You All be right. needing a break. Um, um, we taking them to catch tonight? Yeah, we're going to take them to catch. Okay. Cool, y'all. Drinks for dinner? I'm going to behave during dinner. I promise. I'm going to be nice. I swear I God. promise, guys. Nice, especially to you. <laughs> why that look? You what? Why that look? Hey, is it, what? Am I looking like? through you? My nah, you can't look through me. Okay. You can't see through Why'd velvet pimping. Um, yeah. shout out to uh Daniel. He actually copped the black box. Shout out to Parth. He got the backpack That's briefcase balled out. You dig? Shout out to Parth again. He got the five panel floral hat from Brandon Valera at S A S N Brand.com. Shout out to Simeon. He writes check comments. Simeon, can you go ahead and repost your comment in the chat right now? We see you on Cash App. Go ahead and post it in the chat, and we will pull it up. Shout out to Marquise. He writes, peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Peace thank you saints. for your time, Quet and Breezy. Of course, the oh, lovely thank ladies. You. No problem. Uh, shout out to this bad chick who just DM'd me. 
Uh, moreover, uh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out moreover. to Mark, um, who just became a member at patreon.com slash the saint in the center. And shout out to everybody who supported. We caught up. Oh, I got to check the PayPal. Okay. Well, as he does come in with the comment, let's go ahead and get the ladies yes. uh, going with their uh, final question. Look, ladies, oh, this is I the part of the show. Real quick? Okay, go ahead. Okay. Brother. Yeah. Uh, Jack comes in via PayPal. He writes, peace to the saints. This is my first tuition. I'm a saint from Nairobi, Kenya. And wow. you know, we actually are deep out there, bro. Really? Bro, when I was in Nairobi, somebody showed up to my hotel room. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's we right. deep out there. Um, he says, I'm a saint from Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you for all your high-level game. I really appreciate you, Marquette. By the way, your music has helped me kick a lot of game here in Nairobi. For example, yesterday I cracked me a hijabi using a line in that track, Love Who Love You. He didn't crack the hijabi. Damn. Y'all know what a hijabi is? A word? Y'all don't mm. know what a hijabi is? Yes. What is like a hijabi? The, the hijabi with the right, the yeah. one that ain't supposed to be doing what she was probably doing that night. Shout Ooh, out to him. He said, yeah, quit banging my line. Oh. <laughs> um, okay, and then came back. Um, Cam, the product writes, just dropping tuition. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. Peace to the saints. To the saints. Ooh. Aiden writes, peace to the saints. Immaculate game motivated me to be colder. And less subdued with my own. Praise the Lord. Don't beautiful. be too hard on her. Beautiful, beautiful. Scott writes, the only reason the ladies on the panel are career women is out of necessity. Yo, oh. enjoying this talk a lot. New subscriber. Well, welcome. And may everyone welcome him warmly. Thank you. Warm welcome. Oh, we got a lady in the building. Let's see what she has to say. Ooh. Alexandra. She oh. writes, why do women think making random strangers money is more empowering than building your family's legacy, supporting your man, raising your own children. Woo! Woo! <laughs> These be coming in with that game. For I think she got. She to ask y'all a question, and I'm gonna start right here because I know this time you were actually not staring at me. You were actually looking at the question, so I know you know what it is now. Um, you you got anything to say to baby girl? Um, so she's saying like how we should be supporting our man. She's stuff. saying, why is it instead of you saying, okay, I'm Carissa, I'm with Marquette. Like, so all I want to focus on is building our family together, focusing on our family's legacy, raising up strong kids, supporting my man. I should be focused on that. But why, instead of working for Marquette, do I want to go out and get a job and work for a stranger? I think that women can do either one. So I think that is good to build like the legacy and, mm -hmm. You know, like you said, if I'm in a relationship with somebody, uh -huh. I'm good. I'm selfish. I want you to benefit me. If you're not benefiting me, right. I don't want you in my life. Okay. But I still feel but, like if, you said, but if women, you, you said, but, but if okay. women want to work, they uh -huh. can work and build their own legacy and do what they need to do. Just, oh, their own. It like just separate. depends on what your goals are. What yeah, you want to do what's, your, what's your goal? My goal in life is to live happy, uh -huh. healthy, right? Take one day at a time. Okay. And just go from there. You need this ism. So that's that's a fact. <laughs> you need this ism, baby girl. Because you right now, you said one day at a time. Huh. Goddamn, one day at a time. Tomorrow, look, look like, hold up. We got we got we got quarterly goals, okay? One day at a time ain't gonna stay gonna kick it. You need to have this quarterly, you gotta have this game. You need the ism bad. It is good to Holla have at Marquette. What up, baby girl? Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay, honestly, coming from a standpoint, because mm -hmm. I do make my own money, it's all about the rules in your household. Like, do you two want to be a couple that just want to travel and have fun? Like, uh -huh. you may not be ready to have kids yet. Right. So, and you may not want to ask your man for everything, like, hey, right. I need this or I want that. So, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, yeah, happy getting my own money. I'm, I'm going to ask this question. If you want to be dependable yeah. and are dependent on someone and not independent, like, that's up to you. And there's no yeah. shame in yeah. that. It's but, like, mind, makes you mind your business at the end of the day like, i got you you business. don't even know how to mind your business though because you're trying to mind the business of my other girl what other girl see i got my other girl and you telling me i can't have that that's you not minding your business no so that's you your business about? getting into her in business in the beginning i said everybody do what makes you happy boo do it over there that don't got uh, nothing to do with but me wait wait wait. i want to ask this question though like uh, real talk like if y'all was messing with a dude and he said hey like i mean you could work that job or you can come over and work for me like uh, you know, like awesome. preferably, like you, what do you mean? You know, that work for you? What you what like? <laughs> you you want to build a family legacy, things of your own, right? Of like your own, right? 
So my question is like the job you have, is it yours? Correct. No, is it yours? Yes, I own it. I'm a CEO. No, no I'm saying like if a person, do you, like, do you strictly make all the money off your job? Yes. Like if I didn't want to work bottle service, I didn't have to, or I don't have to. Okay. Like so that's optional. It's like, it's like, I'm still young. This, we still have like you know? con- It's like independent contractor work, right? Yeah. Okay, great. So that's that's not really like a business. What I'm saying is like a business in which like it's generating capital revenue and yeah, you gotta my- re- you don't have to show up to really be there like that. Like you can kind of be a little remote. You gotta show up to the bottle service. I mean, fair enough to say, right? Oh, but I have I have actual business in the beginning. I told you guys I own What's a up? cosmetics company. Okay, beautiful. Yeah. All right. So True. all I'm saying is this. And though. it's linked in the description. It is, it is for the ladies. Check it out, get some. But what I'm saying is this, though. I'm saying, like, if you was dealing with a man that obviously is just beating you out the water, true boss level, like, why would you want to go and work at a job? Because you know what's crazy? I actually know a chick. I believe she's dating a billionaire with a B. A B. That's a tremendous amount of money. But for some reason, she wants to go do odd jobs and stuff like that. I would not be doing any odd jobs. Dude, it's about not putting all your eggs in somebody else's basket. Like you have to have your own eggs. Because what if something happens? What if something happens? Wait, but then you get mad. Hold up. But then you get mad. We're gonna mess with other chicks, and then we go put our eggs in that basket because you don't know how to do that. Listen. So what I'm saying here is, what if this person that I'm working for, right? Mm -hmm. Like whatever, Marquette, or you know. So I work for them. What if they suddenly decide, you know what? This has been great while it's lasted, but you know, I don't think this is going to be the move from this point on yeah. and just cuts you off completely. Well then, then shit, my eggs are all in your basket. How am I going to get my eggs back? All Gotta your eggs my are inside you, first of all. Dude, come and on. You're really? Them over time. Sir. I'm just throwing it out there. Look. Not those say- sort of eggs. No, I'm just saying. And you're wasting them by not like picking the right guy to really ride things out with. Because as you get older, I'm going to just be honest. You don't find the right guy and secure him down. As time goes by, best believe you get older and he's just not like the guys like me and Quet, to some degree, really not looking at you. Like as oh. you get older. Wait, I have a question. For you. <laughs> you didn't make too many bad decisions. You didn't like uh, parlay. You guys are kind of triggering me. I know I, I am. That's I what know. I'm going to do. I have a question. What, you're saying. <laughs> what Wait, up, baby girl? So do you guys prefer independent women or you want someone who kind of like you feel like is leeching off of you? Well, like what's the, mm-hmm. what do you? That's a, That's, a That's a beautiful actually. question, actually. And let me say this: you know, you 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 remember like when you did math, like it was the it was the uh, the the chart, right? And and it went up, like it's that graph, like that line graph, and it goes up. There's an independent, independent variable, correct? This well, man got mathematical. I know. I'm gonna go get ma- I gotta get mathematical. Go the only way for it to go up is if both of them like cohabitate and exist. Mm with each other you don't see independent and independent variable because the line's not going to move up down actually it's not going to be a line to begin with so realistically dealing with the woman she has to be a dependent variable someone has to be the dependent why can't the man be the dependent because he's the leader so why can't the woman be the leader all right where you gonna take me come on where we going where we gonna go lead me right now where are I'm we going? Just... Yeah, I will join your ranks and your force. What do you so want me to do? So back to what Cassie was saying. Oh, I about, thought so. So listen now to what I'm saying. Back to what she was saying about creating what... your own legacy. What if I create my own legacy? And what if I have like a man that wants to work for me and he does the same thing that a woman would do in su- in this oh. sort of scenario that you guys are. Baby creating. girl, I got so many things she I can do with freak. you. I got I got so many things I can do with you. I promise to God I could put you to work and watch. You're gonna make me so much money. You keep talking. I don't want to make you money. But I want to no. make me money. Okay, great. Now wait, let I me ask this question. Paul. Let me ask this question. Let's just say this. Like, okay, you make your own money, I make my own money. Now we all know this. Realistically, we're gonna make different amounts each day. I'm at a higher daily threshold than you so if you come and work for me mm. you're actually being quite intelligent because that's mm. called synergy Uh-oh. it's when one plus one comes together and equals three, three. or uh. something greater than that but you want to be one plus one equals two uh. and i'm not average i'm above average so i'm never gonna give you an average outcome so all i'm saying is look you join the ranks you're gonna win you're gonna win this is the winner side i mean you think oh, you win it but win, i'm win, saying win, it's no different matter what. what no matter what I, get, I, I wake up another, I make every, every day another one, another one, another one. And I look at you, I'm like, you smart, you, you important, you important, you special. Exactly. I'll be looking at you like that. And I'm trying to let you know, like, you can do it. And I want to put you right there. And so let force. me do it I without wanna, you. 
But you can't why? though. Because, why? Because I have to have baby girl. That's the, you need the leader why though. Can't I you need the chief. My, like why can't I have I need, me? Stop, I can be the chief, and then I can stop, find some other stop, people. Stop! Stop! Mine. Stop! But look, wow, all I'm why? saying is this: Is she trolling? Why does the woman? Have I think to be she is, but <laughs> no, I think she's trolling. trolling. Why does the woman have to be Let the submissive? Let me ask you a question. Why? Have you ever pegged a guy? Like in the butt. Yes. Peg him in their mouth. No, I've never pegged a man. Have you ever touched a man's butthole? Yes. Oh no, that's the problem. That's the problem. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I mean, hey, look, teach his own. So Going see, to super chats it, now. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Whew. Have you ever touched a man's butthole? I do not want to answer that question. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Caleb writes more tuition before we end. Enjoy this as always and much appreciated. Cody writes tuition the assassin stays consistent indeed you know charles it. writes peace to the saints peace, peace to the saints. saints ladies name one woman's legacy you aspire to be like in history can't be a celebrity Ooh Dang. what up girls what up what up who y'all aspire to be what's this legacy going i'm gonna give everybody 10 seconds so y'all over here no nah, you hard. can't answer this question Ten, because men nine, have been given different opportunities than women so at that point you'd have well, to may, well is it that we've been given the opportunity or we took it because we were always dominant yeah my point proven maybe literally point. my point but proven yeah, that's the point, you proved my we've point we've always been dominant maybe that's because we're supposed to be dominant Doesn't i'm just saying black men have i mean black men have been achieving stuff like crazy and we've yeah. not been in the winning league in america like that predominantly so we still doing some yeah i mean like even like your shoes for example were the shoe lasting machine was created by a black man all shoes were made by him before that he did that before black people had the right to vote and i can go on and on um, but the point is that if we've always been dominant, maybe it's because we're supposed to be dominant. Just like the NBA. The NBA has tall guys. Maybe they're supposed to be dominant in the NBA. We're never going to see the NBA turn to short guys. So the point is the people who are dominating are probably dominating because they're the best at that. Would you? Does that make sense? I can understand where you would see. Like the, I can understand the way that you turn that into the logic. I don't agree, though. I, so I, you I don't agree. I think that... And I also don't have a, a legacy that I can tie to because just because uh -huh. I don't know that much about women legacies. Damn. I can think but, about some women in my head. Okay, That's go just ahead. Crazy. Go ahead. Yeah. What? Go ahead. Exactly. But here's Point my thing, you. though. Well, you're just this is for you. That women haven't done that much. <laughs> That, then that what? Is, then why are you so against women trying to do that much? No, I think we're not. The women have so then done, why are you guys no, getting triggered you, by the fact that I'm trying no, to build no, my own? No, thing? it's just that you're talking about the female being the leader, and that's unnatural and backward. Females have done great things because here's the thing: without yes. great women, you don't have strong families. Exactly. Without great women, no one grows up healthy. None of us. So anytime a man has achieved, it's because a woman helped him get there. Because we're a team. And that's the problem, but it's just the question is who's out in front on the team. We all know the name of the point guard and of the quarterback, but they both have teams. And so all we're saying is that the man is the quarterback, but the woman shouldn't be undervalued. And I think in recent history, uh, women have been undervalued. And I think that's why they're trying to like go out and compete with men, which is inappropriate when really men have just failed to say being a stay at home mom is just as important as being a CEO, which I believe to be true. And being a good mother is just as important as being the richest man in the world. So I think that's the problem. And that's why you guys want to compete with us at the things we do. No, it's just the life that I want to create with my for myself. I want to have the lifestyle that you guys have. I want to have this sort of thing. You know, but I you want know to have a crazy? podcast. I want to have all of these things in my life. You so why want, is it so wrong for me to have that? I think that's beautiful. You want that. But what I'm saying is this. Even we don't like sit back and say we don't need anybody like to right. a degree we still, i'm not saying yeah, that i don't we, need we still, anybody that's not what i'm saying but i'm not going to need somebody to the point where i put myself down below them if that makes sense well, that's called hierarchy and in yeah. a sense you're going to find that everywhere in life yeah so you're, you're trying to operate in the sense in which you're like i don't ever want to be the person at like beneath somebody but you always are you're yeah. actually beneath the president in right. this country realistically right. you're beneath and he can't even stay away <laughs> right yeah, you've been the mayor uh, of las vegas right you're you're beneath the person who owns the establishments you walk so into. what about the things that i can control <laughs> like my partner you can't control your partner and in I fact mean. no like i can control <laughs> my partner by choice like i can have like okay i chose mm. this person to be my partner this wasn't automatically mm. assigned to me this wasn't some sort of government thing that was put in place right. years ago that i have no but control why are over. you so okay so if you want the best of life you would understand that a, a man realistically 
he would definitely be in control of you, but every Ooh. decision he would make would be one to your benefit. Uh -oh. Because if he loved you, he wouldn't want to see you get harmed. I, I don't know right. one man in my head that'll sit there. But and make, how do I know that one he good knows man in my head benefits me? Well, you, you got to know. choose them because you don't even. Know. That's the thing. It's like you have at some point you got to say, I'm going to put my eggs in this basket because this guy right here knows how to manage a basket. And the truth is females being inclined to emotionalism and not inclined to rational linear decision making is not your forte to chart a course. And so that's why you choose a man as best you can to help chart that course. Yes. So can any one of the ladies name one woman's legacy? Oh, oh, <laughs> it's like in history. Well, I'm gonna go on black history because before they were even, I guess, quote unquote. You gonna say Madam C J Walker? Go ahead. Harriet Tubman, Harriet Rosa Tubman. Parks. Was she even real? Rosa yeah. Parks was managed by men. <laughs> managed by men, but yeah. she became a thing because she wouldn't get up. And you know why they use her instead of a black male? Just, just side note, since we're going to history. But this just says legacy. Right. So they know. use Rosa Parks because if they used a man, they would have snatched him off there and beat his ass. So they used a black woman because they knew that the white guys weren't going to snatch her up and beat her ass. Well, whatever the reason may be, I just named my So you're telling next. me that she used her femininity to her advantage? No, I'm saying that men selected her and put her in place as okay. an employee to achieve that goal. And, and, it, and it's clear in history. But that's a good... That's women a good, do great yeah. things. No, women... You that's my somebody. whole point. They just don't create legacies. You got to... Wow. No. No, that's No, that's, that's so, men. like... Put, that's so condescending, well, Let me say though. this. If, oh, if, the truth. I, why can't a woman create a legacy? But we just gave you the chance to tell us and you can't name nobody. That's what... It's not condescending. That doesn't mean that a woman can't create a legacy, though. But you don't because we just... You use the whole history of the planet Earth. Name me two or, or one. Well, one, I don't know the Damn, entire history, the of, planet history Earth. of planet Earth. But I don't, don't know the history of planet Earth, so, wait, so every, I can't give everybody you Everybody you're trying that. to model to be like as, as a man, then, if that be the case. Right. So, like, so you want to be a man? Sure. If, that, if that means that if I, if I get to still have my coochie as in, no, no, no. Women oh, are allowed to create legacies. Did you just say that? No. Oh, that Women are lie. allowed to create legacies. Uh -huh. They can do it. And I'm going to, I refuse to let are, you or somebody else try and get me it? to believe something just, else. Just tell me why they haven't done it. Cause you can't name one out of like billions of people of women who have lived and died. How, um, can you, maybe Hell it's because yeah. you're okay. Then, then you're literally disproving your own point. By saying Psych. that. I can't. I okay, can't. Boy. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. Oh she tried God. to name one, and I realized that that was actually a woman that was being uh, controlled by men. I named who? Who? Okay, so you said. Um, I said all the black women. <laughs> oh, okay. So I said, said Rosa Parks, Harriet okay. Tubman, and then. Is Harriet Tubman, or, is that a real story? Yeah. Why would we make up something about our history? Or do we? Oh, are you going to say that? Well, she said, well, why? Are you gonna, she but, said, but why would we make up something by, about our history? But this story, I, I get it. America does that. She okay, said, why so would we make You're going to correct me. Yeah, America does that. History is made up every day. But who killed, a lot of people. Who killed John F. Kennedy, the president of the United States? Nobody knows. That's pretty impressive, though, to kill the president and nobody knows. That's, so why That's pretty we impressive. Black people mm -hmm. yeah. believe and lead on the story that she helped. Oh, because black place. people, let me look into the camera real quick. Let me look into uh -oh. the camera real quick. That's a real question. Because African Americans are some of the most downtrodden, ignorant, uneducated, oh, uncultured human goodness. beings on the planet Earth. And what's worse is that African Americans learn most of their history from white liberals. Bingo. Huh? And why do African Americans today celebrate Martin Luther King? Because white people say he's good. Because white people say he's a good guy. Why? Because the alternative was who? Malcolm X. And Malcolm X said, let's defend ourselves. So they said, oh, if we can choose the guy who's going to defend himself or the guy who's saying, we shall over getting hit with rocks, taking children and women and protesting, getting hit with rocks and attacked by dogs. We're going to make him famous. Why? So black people follow after who? The peaceful one. Because that keeps you docile and nice. That's why. And today, black people are the poorest racial group in America, which means I can show up from Mexico, not even speaking English, 
and outperform African Americans because they're brain dead. Okay, so they're for brain all dead. these uneducated African Americans or this culture that you say, how do you go about making a difference and telling them how they can become educated? Well, that's be a great a, question, my be love. Be the change. Don't tell them we're oh, stupid. Well, that's a, that's a phenomenal Preach. question, and I appreciate that you have asked me. How am I being the change? Well. I, one, I actually wrote a book called The Black Box. If you'd like to review this in detail, you, you can check out The Black Box on Amazon. Um, for one, my first job out of university was as a teacher's program called Teach for America. I taught in Baltimore, Maryland. I taught 156 kids who were all black except one. There's one girl who's Mexican. How she ended up in that school, I don't know. Um, then I found a nonprofit that was exclusively for black males, teaching them about communication, nonviolence, things like that. Then I ran a nonprofit in Baltimore, Maryland, provided wraparound services, you know, psychological counseling, rental assistance, financial aid for kids who are trying to be college bound, things like that. Um, even today, just to skip forward past a lot of stuff, like today, we support a lot of black people in earning for themselves, which is the biggest issue with black people's poverty. So if you go to my website, www.thesasn.com, see a whole bunch of products on there and most of them are produced by black people young men mostly and you can buy those products and support them and help them support their families and i teach them entrepreneurship and when you look at most of the crimes that black men are incarcerated for financial crimes drug dealing drug selling, trying to earn for yourself theft fraud all those things so that is the change and i would even go so far as to say i've helped way more people than a martin luther king well, so how do they go about educating themselves is the question. It's, it should be one simple this answer. Ism. It's getting this ism. You know what's crazy? Here's the beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. We talk about, like, we're saying this, like, okay, take for instance, I mean, these men might. Know. You're like, I'm white. Them. I ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> God damn it. I do yoga. These men might find themselves to be in a position where me and Mark White are in. And there's a mindset that comes with it that might be more preferable for you to be in if you can handle it, right? Because many can't handle it. So therefore, like watching something like this and also getting a woman who can understand, Ooh. like, I'm Ooh. not I'm I'm not the 99 percent. Well, yeah, the 99 percent of black people are broke. And if you're the one percent of black guy who isn't, you shouldn't be taking BS from anybody. Ooh. Realistically, oh right? God, you yeah. should be striving for power and she should mm. understand that you're striving for power. But that's something black people don't know because they don't have power. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, we. <laughs> Uh, thank you for that question. Justin writes, if she wants to be a leader in a relationship, she will never respect her man. You ain't lying. And her man will be living in quiet desperation. I believe that. Carrying on. Charles writes, lady on the right. He's talking about you. Lady on the right. <laughs> oh, I love it. She's sick for that. <laughs> She's sick for that. Lady on the right is a modern feminist. You ain't lying. The error in that philosophy is trying to be something you cannot. That's actually the doctrine from Lucifer's play. But God damn, is Lucifer the devil, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> trying to be something you can't. Ooh, you know what's crazy? I don't think any he of them. The devil didn't inspire her. I don't think any of them have ever like read like any of them like Luciferian books or like like. But they a lot of this feminist stuff that people be preaching. I'm like, it's right in there. Yeah, it's, it's like evil. crazy. It's you crazy. Lying. Uh, should we wind it down? As you're saying. Yes, we should. All right. Ladies, you get to ask us one question. Go ahead. We're going to rapid fire really quick. Go ahead, Chloe. What's up? Um, no, I don't want to ask any questions. Dude, they would be really ask no disrespectful. No. Go ahead. Dang. She said Dang. they would be really disrespectful. <laughs> God. Yeah, well, go ahead. Throw it then, You don't girl. love me no more. You're going to make the viewers she crack up. No whatever Maybe you we'll start throw. from here, and, and by then she'll think of a, okay. a, a question she's willing to ask. Huh? Oh, what up? Yeah, you guys, you guys go. What are your guys' non-monetary goals? Non-monetary goals? Mm -hmm. That's a good question. Oh, my, uh, you know, I say like one thing's for sure. I really want to give the world something that's uh, truly unique and creative. Trying to ponder and sit back on it and say like, what is that thing that can really make people feel like, ah, that's that's actually new. I've never seen that before because me, I'm all about creating a feeling in people. And if I can create the feeling of innovation in people or inspiration, that's a lot to me because I feel like I've helped a lot of people in general by making the next steps in what they want to do. So, yeah. The short version is that I think that we could live in a really beautiful world, but currently we live in a world that's kind of sad. Like, for example, uh, Joe Biden just authorized billions of dollars to prolong a war in Ukraine. That does not have to happen. Right. Yet you have people in America who are living in tremendous poverty. You know, families that are struggling to eat, 
families who can't drive their kids to school because the gas prices. And I ask myself, you know, like, what can we do to where our tax dollars aren't being taken and used to murder people where we can reallocate those dollars to keep people alive with good health, with better education, with, you know, in Switzerland, the public transportation is so good. Like if you stand and you're waiting, like a bus will be there, a train will be there, like every three minutes, you cannot be late to anywhere because the bus didn't show up. Now me, I don't, I don't ride buses, but for poor folks, they have to use public transportation. Our public transportation is so bad. So many things here are so bad and it doesn't make sense because we're in the richest country in the world. So one thing I want to do is uh, concentrate a uh, population of voters in Las Vegas, start to vote and start to make positive change in the society. And that's why we invite all the saints to show up in Saint City. You did get registered to vote and start doing good things because we know Joe Biden's not really leading America. This motherfucker can't ride a bike or stay awake. So who really is leading? And so I think that we have to start doing something to provide for happier lives for everyone. And I think when we have a good America, the world is good because when we're in bad shape, we go around the world spreading poison. You dig? So that's that's one of my big goals. That's not monetary. What up? Raja. Writes, and this might be a woman. She writes, women's liberation movement was funded by the Rockefeller Foundation to force both parents to work, tax them, and send the kids to school. Divide and conquer. Beautiful wow. plan. It's Dang. working. It's really working. <laughs> it's working. <laughs> and they want to work too, which is funny because I don't even want to work. It's so weird. I never thought like want I grew up and I was like, people I knew around me were like, if I didn't have to work, I wouldn't work. And right. now it's became like, I want to work. I'd love to be a stay-at-home mom right, or a stay-at-home wife. I don't know. Uh, it'd be phenomenal. All right. What up, girl? I mean, well, I was just going to ask your guys this whole purpose. Like, that was you know, literally you, what I was you woke ask. up today, what was one purpose you had or one goal you had today separately? For the day. Yeah, for the nice. day. You know, it's all about what we do every day. So what, one of the goals that really sits good on my heart is uh, seeing my team succeed. I, li I like to see like their lives change through the actions we're doing with my business. Like one employee of mine, he just recently bought a house for him and his family, uh, brought me over housewarming party. And I forgot to bring a housewarming gift. And I said, man, I forgot to bring a gift, man. Yeah. I was like, yo, I'm going to bring you one. Yeah. And he said, Jabri, don't even do it. He said, because. Without you, I wouldn't even have the ability to buy this house. And that, that hit me hard. That's hard. So I, those moments really get me up out the, out the bed. Heck yeah. I ain't even got a story that good. So I ain't. <laughs> 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 I'm going to tell my story first from now on. Um, no, but uh, I, I hope you guys don't watch my, uh, my stories on IG. Because while you were doing that very meaningful thing, I was in a, a vibrating chair at the <laughs> furniture store. It was doing, giving me massages and stuff. <laughs> So, no, seriously, um, my goal today was to buy furniture for my uh, downstairs living room because I want to host movie nights. And so, like, uh, we had a movie night recently. It was bomb. A bunch of guys, yeah, at a high rise in Vegas. And um, I said, you know, I want to be able to host this at, at my house because, like, say on a Friday, Saturday night, like, everybody got to go to the club. And that's cool. I think some people really are, like, club rats and they want to go to the club. And I think other people – just want to be around people. You just want something to do, be around cool people, have a good time. And so I want to be able to like provide that that space for for folks. So I went and got a bunch of furniture uh, to facilitate that. So and it sucks too, because I low key I wanted to get a bunch of recliners uh -huh. for downstairs, but I was like, that's not gonna be good for conversation. You know, <laughs> so I got like a, a circular couch so people could face each other and then put it around the TV. So that was beautiful. That's what I did. I also think I'm gonna get this ten thousand dollar massage chair because uh, this should be fun, bro. <laughs> I got a massage bed, you know that? They were telling me about that today, but I was so like, I don't want Shorty to bed. be in my bed, like right. just using my, my vibrate settings while I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mariah being there butt naked sitting on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about you. Both of y'all. <laughs> Both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, right. Okay, okay. Oh, the we gonna get to your question. Yeah, this was better better question. Yeah, let's have a question. <laughs> Uh, what is Alexandra writes, he said all those honorable things and couldn't get any positive feedback. Kudos to Marquette for all the amazing contributions to the community. I appreciate that. Shout out to the lady saints. You dig? Uh, Isaiah writes, peace to the saints living in abundance. Indeed. Beautiful. What's up? What's up? What's up, Chloe? What you <laughs> That's all disrespectful. What's up? Chloe? That's all disrespectful. What you got to say, girl? Chloe? What's the purpose of, of this podcast, primarily this episode? 
That's okay. beautiful. Okay. Well, um, uh, oh, should, should we? Should we? The purpose of this episode, right? Sure. Well, like the purpose or the, of the, the podcast or this episode? Both. Okay. Well, you know, I would absolutely tell you, mm -hmm. but you know what they say: what, what happens, happens in Vegas, Vegas stays on Saint City, City podcast. podcast. Peace to the Saints. Peace to the Saints. Like for real.